will be Creative Craft, and welcome to Let's Get Crafting. So, y'all, today we are going to be doing some UV resin, and when I say we, I mean me, and I have a special guest coming up here in just a little bit, Miss Nancy from Little Treasures by Nancy will be joining me, because I've only done UV resin once, and that was last night on her live. So, she's going to be joining me tonight so that we can continue it on and work with all the goodies. So, we've already got Miss Angel and Miss Liz and Adele. Hello, everybody, and welcome in. All right, so first, we are going to go ahead and pick our stitch for May because last time I almost forgot to do that. So, we are going to do that first. So, let me go ahead and share screen. Hey, Storms, Radios, and Cats. He said, y'all better be here on time. <laughs> All right, let me share my screen here. Pick the stitch. Hey, Miss Tank. All righty. So let's go see what our stitch is going to be for May. Right now, we're working on the shell stitch. And so let's see what we got coming up. Spin, spin, spin. And it's going to be. Ooh, the iris stitch. I will have to go check my notes and remind myself what that is. <laughs> All right, let me write that down because I will not remember. Okay. We're going to write it right here. Iris stitch. Because I forgot to grab my little notebook that I keep on my... Oh, no, it's laying right beside it. Well, anyway, it's okay. All right, remove you, stop sharing, go back over here. And there's Miss Nancy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> what a hit stop. What a hit stop sharing. There she was. She's working away. Oh, uh, let's see here. Hey, Mayor Bell. Let's see who else came in. Hey, Larry. Let's see. Hey, Miss Kimberly. She said she is going to be lurking. Have lots of fun. I hope you are feeling better. Oh, let's see if I missed anybody else coming in. Hey, Sandrine and Miguel. Hey, hey, hey. Miss Red, welcome in. All right, let's go ahead and play our lurker video because once we get into the resin, I'm sure I will forget to do that. So let me get this for everybody that is going to be working and lurking and hanging in the background. I appreciate you and I appreciate everybody that's catching it. Hello everyone. Where did Miss Pam go? I was over here in my little corner. Sorry, every time. Hey, Gloria. I don't know why. Hi, Mom. I don't know why it keeps doing that. You know what? We're just going to let Nancy be up here because, you know. Miguel says he shouted me out today in his car vlog. Red Rover Reverse. Oh, thanks, Miguel. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, so... StreamYard has been doing this thing the past couple of, well, it did it on, on Thursday, and it did it to Nancy the other night, too. Every time you go to play a video, it kicks you out. Like, well, not every time, but like every other time. And there's no rhyme nor reason. You just hit play, and then ta-da, you get kicked out of your own stream. So, anyway, it is what it is. So, welcome, Miss Nancy. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Okay. So, we're going to go back here and... We're going to try that again. And if it kicks me out again, then we just won't do the video. You just know that I appreciate y'all all being here. Hey, Miss Samantha. All right, y'all, if I missed anybody coming in, just shout out me again. All right. Before we get started with the UV resin, I want to show y'all what I found today on sale because I went for new resin and those dad blame bright orange stickers get me every time. And then I also picked up some stuff from Walmart and from Dollar Tree. So Walmart is right here at my feet. So we are going to start with Walmart. Okay. Now I have two Walmarts that are fairly close to me. One has the um, granny square, all-in-one granny square by Red Heart, and the other one does not. I was at the other one, but they did have this. They did have the Jumbo Speckle, which is new to my store, um, and I've been seeing it online, and I wanted to try it, and this one is called Bubblegum. 
That's pretty. And look at that. It's got like this pale pink peachy background. So it's not white. But but I thought it was really pretty. Hey Aisha, welcome in. Hello, Aisha. So yeah. And Miguel says no snail mail yet. So I picked up two of these because I wanted to check them out. And this one again is called Bubblegum Speckle. I don't know what I'm going to make with it, but, you know, and I just hit my elbow and that hurt. Ouch. But, yep. And if I need more, they will get more in and then I'll figure out what I'm going to make with it. Your mom said pretty colors. I figure baby girl will like that. <laughs> no, <And> sure. <laughs> hey, Miss Gloria. All righty. So are y'all ready to see what I found on clearance at, at, at Hobby Lobby? Me, me, me. Okay, so y'all go check out your clearance section at Hobby Lobby for all their Easter stuff because it is on clearance for 90% off. No fair. 90. So I picked up these cute stickers. I don't know if it's better for me to show them this way or to turn my camera, but so I picked up these stickers. Um, whoa, they had a couple of different kinds. You know what? Let me just open this drawer right here and then we'll just stick it in this drawer as I show it. How about that? Then it gets it out of my bag. That, that sounds like a plan. And then these are the egg stickers. And then these are really cute. And, you know, some of these can be used, like these little baby chicks and the little flowers and stuff. These can be used for other things besides these. Or they can just be used for spring, spring showers. And again, y'all, these were, I mean, so these are regular $4.49. So, you know, and these were $1.99 and they were 90% off. So. so that's 19 cents for that yeah. one. Exactly. And these were 44 cents. 44 cents. Oh my goodness gracious. So, okay. So I picked I'm up jelly. those. Because these are these cute little flowers. And so, yeah. So we'll toss them in there. And that other one that I just took out was just. Another one like the first one. Hey, Jonathan. Mr. Pops is in the house. Hey, Jonathan. And then they had these uh, bunny sun catchers, which again, 90% off. So these this was 19 cents. So I thought that would be a fun little project. I mean, you can't beat it for that price. All right. Um, All kinds let me of see fun. if there's anything else on clearance down in here yes there are okay so you let's see i'll show y'all all the resin goodies all the all the jewelry shop stuff is on sale for 50 percent off so if you had a chance to go to hobby lobby this week you got it for 50 percent off um so you might want to wait another week if you're wanting to get uh jewelry shop stuff because it will not be on sale next week, but it will probably be on sale the following week. I just want to make sure I got all the clearance goodies out of here. Okay, so I will show you all those when I flip the camera. But head down the aisle where they have all of the clothing items. So you can do like where you can decorate bags and stuff. Because they have these shoe iron-ons. So you can decorate these little kids. Oh, that's so cool. 49 cents is what it was on sale for regularly, $1.99. Those are so cute. Um, and then at the very back of the store, ours has moved their clearance section. It used to be in the far corner. Now it's on the back wall in the middle. But they had these little golden books on clearance. Oh, they, they do a lot of um, junk journals with, with um, and notebooks with that. So these were $2.99 a piece. I don't know what they regular, a regular $5.99. So they got the little engine tooped. And then Lasso the Moon. I'm tipping them up because they got a glare on them. So, but yeah, these were all $2.99 a piece, which is a great buy, I think, for these little, little golden books. So we're going to put those in there. And. Okay, this wasn't on this wasn't on sale, but I mean it was a dollar forty nine. Okay, let me tell y'all something about these little containers. See, this one says jewelry storage for dollar forty nine. They had the exact same container over with the diamond painting kits 
and it was more expensive and it's the exact same thing it just says instead of jewelry storage it says diamond storage so y'all go get it from the jewelry storage section because it's cheaper that's the same thing with the exacto blades if you buy the exacto blades in the craft section they cost more than if you go to the hardware section yep and that is and more presents. oh and then i got some lighters they weren't on sale okay here's the next thing okay so miss kimberly and anybody else that likes fabric me me um so my friend summer likes to make quilts using bandanas you didn't right now okay and my mom says eliana and asher will love you reading the books to them i oh. know right see that's I buy them for birthday presents because this one, where's it at? It says something about this is why our birthday so special. Why our birthday special? So <laughs> let's see. Larry says got a lot going on in the background. We'll try to come back if you're still here. Okay. Hey John, what if hey, I got Mr. John C's up in the house? All right, so. They're bandanas, not all colors, but some of them are on clearance for 49 cents. That's, so, that's, a, that's a good deal. Mm -hmm. Hey, Moon Rose. So I picked hey, up that Rose. one and this one. And I thought, look, they make pretty, they go pretty together. Yes, they do. So I picked up a few of these and I picked up a bunch for summer. Because I know she likes them. Ooh, but like the green. See, and, and, and it's not coming across like true color. This is like a really bright. This is like crayon green. Hey, Miss Debbie. Uh, hey, Miss Debbie. Excuse me, Mrs. Debbie. And a pink one. I wanted a purple one, but either all the ones that were clearanced on purple were either sold out or the purple just wasn't on sale. But they had these tie dye ones with smiley faces. Oh, those are cute. And the ones I got for myself, I got to, I'm thinking I might make a tote bag with them. Yeah, that's my thoughts. And then, of course, you know, I had to get orange ones. These, This is like an orangey red. Mm -hmm. um, and then, where are all my superhero peeps? Yeah, these. Ooh. But you know what? For 49 cents, I mean, yeah. So let's drop them down in the little drawer of goodies. And then let me show you what I found at Dollar Tree. And then we will get into the resin. Okay, so my Dollar Tree is not, none of the Dollar Trees in my area are super Dollar Trees or, Walmart or Dollar Tree Plus or whatever it's called. They're just plain old Dollar Trees. But while they didn't have actual resin, they had resin tint. I did not buy it, but I did videotape it. So I'll do a short later, hopefully this weekend. Um, but they did have the different ones that you can tint resin with. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy any of it because I already had these that I had purchased from Hobby Lobby a while back. So I didn't buy any of those, but they did have some. But they did have a lot of accessories so they had this Ooh. and again y'all will be able to see this better when i flip my camera and we get into it but i mean y'all check it out i mean a dollar and a quarter and you get all four of them and they come in the little containers just a little containers are, are worth a dollar and a quarter right and they have a lot of new jewelry making stuff y'all that's what i need to go because i need some new tools Okay, so this is 28 pieces, and it's bracelet findings, but it has lobster claws, or lo the lobster clasp, the jump rings, and the um, cording. Oh, that's nice. For a dollar and a quarter. How many sets? It's 28 pieces, so. Divided by three? Well, let's see. Probably Eight well, sets? No, nah, two. Well, wait. Wait. Yeah, one, two, 
three, four, five, maybe? No, because that wouldn't work. I, I don't know. It doesn't say, but okay. it's got the little jump rings. It's got lobster claws, and or and it's got them in gold and silver. And then, oh wait, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. So six because. That still doesn't work out right. Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Make me do math, Nancy. I was just wondering how many sets you can get out of one. one I pack don't know, one. but yeah. Okay. Miss Red says, um, make, making me itch to go to Hobby Lobby and Dollar Tree. Okay, so this one also. You forgot to say enabler alert when you came in. Oh, my bad. Enabler alert. Okay, so here we go. <laughs> So here are some more lobster claws. Now they did have these in just the gold, also. Oh, I, I need to think uh, they had the mixed ones, and these have the little teeny tiny spacer beads, and then like the little chains. That's a that's a nice set. Yeah, and again, these came from Dollar Tree, y'all. Um, and then here's some more of the resin stuff. And again, I'll show you this better when I flip the camera here in just a minute. Um, and then I got some glitter because, you know, glitter. They got a new stamp in. I couldn't remember if I had bought this one already, so I bought another one. Well, I haven't seen that one. I hadn't either. I'd seen this one online, and I had not seen it in the store with the Eiffel Tower and stuff, but so I picked it up, and since I was there... I couldn't remember which stamp I bought. I kind of think, or block, I kind of think I had bought this stamp block. But that one also had this one. Yeah, you found it. I found one. And y'all, these are small, so, but. And yeah, then. For the stamp that, that, that they do sell, it's a good size. Spray bottle. Yeah. Hey, Herb. And hey, Herb. then. They had gotten in their fat quarters in the springy colors. So, since they didn't have all of the colors I was looking for in the bandanas, I picked up one of each of these. Because they only had, this is purple. It's not coming across as purple from what I can see. But if y'all can, it's purple. Like, really, really pretty purple. Yeah, purple is hard for the camera for some reason. So... Right, Miss Red? Dollar Tree is stepping it up. I was super impressed with what all they had. And so I did do like a little um, a little video. I'm going to do a short and I'll show all the different jewelry stuff. And I tried to pause on it so that it would focus in. Um, and then also on the resin stuff. So, oh, he said my kitten wants to say hello to you all. Well, hi, kitty, kitty. All right, y'all. I think that is my haul. I know I went super fast. But that's because we need to get into the resin. So let me make me and Nancy equal here. Actually, I'm going to zoom us in. Bam. Oh, she's not centered. Sorry. <laughs> when we flip our cameras, it, it makes more sense for us to be like this when, when I flip the camera. Um, that's looking cute. Y'all, I'm going to play with this camera for a second. I did this while ago. Okay. That's looking so adorable, y'all. That's her little imkin that she's doing for her uh, members. So. All right. I'm going to flip my camera. And while I'm doing that, people in the chat, who has done UV resin? I have done it one time. And that was last night. Even though I bought all this stuff. Well, all, except for the stuff y'all are going to see that I purchased today. I bought it like... I don't know, a year and a half ago, maybe. Maybe even longer than that. And it's just been sitting in the Hobby Lobby bag on my um, shelf over there. So I thought, you know what? It's time. Nancy said she was going to do it on for her live last night. So I was like, ooh, we'll just take it on over to mine on Saturday and we'll have a part two. So let me flip my camera. That's what I was going to do while I go with it. I didn't do it. And then y'all can see I'm a junk. Ta -da! You, you, you'll see my you'll see my mess, but I'll be cleaning it up because I've been crocheting today. And I'm gonna open up my little. See. <laughs> so, 
Okay. So do y'all like it better like this where we're both up close to personal? Can y'all see it better when we do it like this? I think so when, when we do when, once we get uh, you know the mess out of the way. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna fetch you. Hey Adele. Right. All my little resin goodies. Okay, so I did buy for those that were at Nancy's last night, this is the little UV light I was using. And as you see, it's got three little bulbs. I don't know if that was affecting um, the, the, the setting of it. I don't know. I tried to use my nail light. My nail light is uh, motion activated. And so I kept having to stick my fingers in there. Hey, Doretha. I kept having to stick my nails in there to get it to come back on. And I didn't want to do that. So I did pick up another one at Hobby Lobby today. This was $11.99. But as you see, it has a whole lot more light. Yeah, that's, that's it like, looks like mine. Look. Yeah. It, oh, it's the same one or similar, if not the same. Very close. Three, six, uh -huh. nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen lights. So we're gonna give that a try. Um. Hey, well, I got y'all turned around. Let me show you. Okay, so this is the ones I picked up at Dollar Tree. This is music notes. That's why I got this one. And the, this, these are both music notes. These are colorful, and then they got the gold. Oh, that's cute. So that's why I got those. And then this one has also has some music notes. So these are duplicates, but then it also had the gold leaf. Oh, no, wait, I take it back. They have, this one's the gold leaf, and then this is the uh, sea animals. Like little tiny starfish and, I don't know, little shells. And Storm's cat, Storm's radio cat, that's Barry, right? Yes. Okay, so Barry is saying, yes, that is a much better angle. So awesome. Alrighty. So we're going to put all this little resin back here. Okay, here's the bracelet and necklace findings. Now we see that a little better. And then there's this one. Which is the, the bracelet. Okay, so the resin that looks like this was not on clearance. So, or it was not on sale. The one that just said UV resin. The only thing that was on sale, 50% off, were the ones that said jewelry shop. They were on sale for half price. So, all of the accessories, all that kind of good jazz was on sale for half price. So, Miss Nancy, what do we want to start with? I'm going to try the leaf first. Okay, so let me get my leaf. And, y'all, I bought some translucent colors that are already colored. Hi, Carrie. She says, oh, no, it's me, Carrie. Well, welcome in, Miss Carrie. Hello, Carrie. Carrie sent me a cute little video last night. And it said when my I, when my foot does this, and then my foot does this, and then and then it shows yarn. <laughs> <laughs> it was a cute little video. Okay. So I did buy some new resin. I have this one, but I'm gonna try this one first just to see. But do they have dates on them? I I don't know. I haven't looked. Okay, I just could. I was just curious. But, but I'm going to use, for the leaf, I'm going to use one of these tinted ones. Because why not? That's tinted UV? I mean, resin? Yes. And it said, it's translucent. It says, no need to tint. Color has already been added. Oh, that's so pretty cool. I wanted cool. to try it. I didn't think it was bad. It was $14.99 for, um, what, eight? I'm using my, I'm using my camera to zoom in on the bottle. Let's see if there's a date on it. <laughs> I don't see no dates. So oh, let wow. me. All right. So Nancy reminded me we were going to do leaves. Like, and so I ran outside. And what Harry I said got, she's done resin, but never UV resin. Well, this is uh, pretty fun. I enjoyed the UV resin last night. So we're just going to sit all these little lot up here. Um, Nancy reminded me that, you know, we were going to do the leaf. So I ran outside to grab a leaf. And guess what? 
all the leaves on my trees are way too high for me to, to reach. And the ones that are <laughs> on the ground are, um, they're still from fall. So, you know, I didn't think that would work very well. I figured it would just crumble. So, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try it. I okay, so I picked up this little weed. Oh, it's already, it's already closed up. Look, Nancy. It closed up. That was that way open it earlier. Opened all the way up. Hey, Paula. It was opened up in the little daisy, wild daisy. Okay. Um, but I'm gonna. I, I don't actually. I have no idea what these are called. I, they look like little daisies, but they do. I'm gonna use these little tiny leaves right here. <laughs> oh, so we're gonna pull him off, and we're gonna do a little, a little leaf. Do you do it on? Doesn't matter which side of the leaf you do it on. I'm I'm doing it on the front side of the leaf because okay. that's the, that's the way the the leaf is folded. See when I you you look from the side. Uh huh. You see how the the leaf is folded into a V shape. Yeah. With this part up, so I thought this would be better because it will keep it in there. Oh but well, it, mine, it well, I guess I need to flip mine over. So so I, I'm not sure if if. Well, I'll do mine on the back side because that's the way it cupped. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so what color shall we do these? Do we want to do them green? Or do we want to do them a different color? Try it. Try try a different color. Be be be, be um different. Because yeah. leaves are green. True, true, true. Okay. So here are our colors. We got aqua aquamarine, orange. Royal blue, light green, yellow. Why are you green, asking us when you when you have orange? Brown, purple. <laughs> oh, you know I got lots of stuff that I'm gonna be making. I know, but but for the first one, you should do an orange one. So I should do orange leaves. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sorry for my arm reaching across in front of y'all. Okay, so first let's see Here. if these are, if I have to open these. I, I, I got my iced coffee. Oh, yummy. I'm going to see if these have, and they, okay, so they do. I'm going to have to open these. And I'm going to start think, mine. And do you think I brought the other thing in here? No. I didn't. That, that, the, the bedtime is, is with daddy, not with me. So when daddy gets home. Let's see here. I meant to bring my other pliers in here. Okay, there we go. Oh, also, I did not get these at Dollar Tree. However, Dollar Tree is now selling the little tiny pliers for jewelry making as well. They do have the little ones that cut like this. They have the ones with the where the the needle nose. They have the ones that are the like cur pointing curved needle nose. I did buy them. They're just not in this room for me to show them. I, 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 I need to make Jay. Yeah. It's too late for you to drink water. You just finished one, didn't you? Yes. Okay, it's too late for you to drink water. I'm, I'm I'm putting a a, a thicker coat than I did yesterday, mm -hmm. and, and see if this works out better than what what I did yesterday. Okay, so tell people what we're doing. Tell you tell them what you're doing. I'm just pouring resin inside the leaf. And we're gonna we're gonna um, cure it with the UV light, and it's and I'm trying to put more more, and it's and it's it's um, spilling off the side. So I think I've plen plen plenty enough. Okay, I'm going to have to take a trip to my Dollar Tree, says Mrs. Debbie. I know, right? Okay, well I'm putting my resin on. I these. need I need to go to Dollar Tree, honey. Okay, I see when you come back. <laughs> he says, "I see when you come back." <laughs> yes, that's Pam. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm, I'm using this orange. It is translucent, or it's supposed to be. So, Miss Angel puts enabler alert with a little alarm next to it. I don't have the little video like Nancy does. <laughs> <laughs> so. So these little bottles are really handy. I looked for some more of the brush on. 
which is good for like covering like um like if you have like a photo or something that you've put on a on a on a coaster or a piece of wood. Nine o'clock starts next week. Right? Or are we boosting about 110? So Miss Liz is back. Welcome back. Okay, I Ms. think that's Miss Miss Jill's watching, but she has a migraine. Oh no, I'm sorry. We'll pray be praying for you, Miss Jill. Okay, y'all. That's got little air bubbles in it. So I don't should I should I zap it with the uh with the heat or should I just let it go? Wait till Miss Nancy comes back. If if you hit the resin with with flame with the heat, it'll pop your little air bubbles. But I don't want to damage the leaf underneath. So I'm trying to open up my little uh I I forgot the, the air the bubble thing, but I poured it so slow that I don't, I don't think I have any air bubbles. Grr, I can't open this. I tried to open all the stuff. I bought a little torch. Nancy's got a little torch. I bought one at Harbor Freight earlier today, but I have not loaded it yet. So, I'm going to open up this little tiny ladder here and see if, ta-da, it works. And this little ladder looks like that. So, it looks like a little tiny torch. This came from uh, Walmart. I, I saw it as I was checking out. From Walmart. She, she got it over by the, by the, the checkouts. It's itty bitty torch. Show, show the torch. Or almost a look at look at look at that. Oh, how cool! Isn't that cute? Yeah. And it was like I think it was like five bucks. Okay. I don't. I, I I'm afraid to do this with the. Uh, I'm on then, cardboard. Then, then, then don't do it on cardboard, please. Yeah, we, we I mean we don't need to start a fire. We didn't start a fire. Oh, that is so cute. Yes, yeah, see. <laughs> yeah, I, I scorched it. <laughs> okay, we're not oh, gonna do that. No, gonna, no. Uh, I can't see where the flames at, so we just gonna not, you know, catch my cardboard on fire. Let's let's try it with this instead. Just just poke it with the with the toothpick. Because okay, okay. <laughs> your because your leaves are so tiny. They are very tiny. Pop. But if, if they come out, you, 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 you're going to have some cute little earrings you could, um, with your little Dremel. Mm -hmm. Drill a hole to put the jump, jump rings in. You got some, a pair of earrings. Yep. Okay. What did I do with my little? I think this one's not as full as that one. So let's put a teeny itsy bit more in that one. Okay. So Nancy, tell people how long we need to, to cure the resin for. I, I do not know. I just... I just hit the 90 second three times. After the first one, it's pretty cured. It's pretty dry to the touch, but I do it three times just to be. Just to be safe. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're going to put my little light over here. This little light of mine. The the the, the one I, I did yesterday, the, the fruit bowl and the avocado that had the sticky residue from the tape. Even with alcohol, I didn't want to come off. So what I did, I, I just laid more resin on top of that side. Hold on. Oh, okay. So if y'all missed that, y'all can go check that out on Nancy's it's, live from last it, night. So it's, it's, it's shiny again on that side. So, so I ba basically domed both sides. Well, that's good. That just makes it reversible. Okay, so y'all, yeah. Hobby Lobby did have all the little fruit findings as well. Look, I'm poking the bee. I'm poking the bee. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You guys ready? I'm scared to touch it. Oh, it's, it's solid. It's solid. Oh, here we go. I'm a, I'm a, it, it, it went off uh, off on the, on the side over here a little bit, so I don't know how. It, but um, you guys ready to see it? Yeah. 
All you gotta okay. do is, is, is just pull off the back of the leaf. And you, you'll have to cure this side as well. Because you it, it was against the leaf, so that no light got through it. So uh, this piece of leaf, there's another piece of leaf. That's because it, it went up under it. Yeah, that's the one that went under. Let's get a pokey tool and help it out. Pokey tool, courtesy of Dollar Tree. <laughs> Dollar Tree, we need sponsorships. Uh huh. Right. I pay got some of more pokey tools. For, um, pay pay for our, our supplies so we can keep on doing cool stuff. And the, okay, the, up, Dollar the, Tree. Okay, this one because it, it it went under. There's leaf under there, but let me let me cure this side real quick, and then I'll I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and while you're curing that, show show off some of the stuff you made last night so people can okay. kind of get an idea of what, what they can make. Now, y'all, they had some um, where you can make resin bookmarkers. A and I meant to go back and grab one of them, but I don't much believe I did. But I was like, that's really cute a really cute idea you can make like customized resin bookmarks so hi miss shirley hey shirley she's like she's got to go find some hair dye and we'll catch up awesome what color are you doing i showed you the fruit salad which, which is the one that i that i call this one i call the fruit salad because it has all the fruits in it this is the avocado one i did I'm I'm about to flip it and do the same thing on this side that's because it's still sticky from the tape. Mm -hmm. See? So I'm I'm a I'm a dome this side as well. And right here, I'm I'm using the glass mat. And you see right here it got it got some resin on it. All you gotta do is cure this right here, and it'll pop right off the glass mat. Oh really? Yes. And then um this is the the, the one of the pendants I did yesterday with the mixed glitter. But um, the back was a little rough, so I added some so, some more resin, but there's a little bump right here. And I didn't realize that I covered the hole. Uh-oh. Oh, well. So I, I needed to put, put a, um, how you call it, a toothpick there when I, when I did that. But well, you can I always drill it back out because you got the hole on the front side. So you know yeah, to I, have to, I have to use, <laughs> this is the one that I, that I layered the, gl the glitter. So that, that way you, you, you see how. It's it's a clear um resin and then a layer of glitter and clear resin. So if, oh, if you okay. if what, what's that? If so if you want that kind of look, that's the back. If you want that kind of look, you can layer it instead of mixing it. So this is the one that's mixed. So you can see it all. Oh, through I it. remember you. Yeah, okay, I remember now when you mixed it. So Charlie says good. she's got to rinse out her hair dye, and not find. I got you. <laughs> Liz is saying she loves that pendant. And then um, this is the, the I'm going to be doing another one of these today because this one has a big giant bubble. I forgot to um, take care of the bubbles before I, I cured it right there. That big bubble. I had seen this bubble, but it was too late for that one. But that's, that's a miniature um, crochet daisy that Miss Chris Kedalisko sent me. So I have a few more of those. So we're going to try this again. And I'm going to... It's not going to be completely flat because of the of the the thickness of the pendant, but the I'm gonna put a ladybug. This one's a, one of the big ones. Hold on, the little one. I'm gonna put a ladybug when, when I do the last layer. So part of the ladybug will be embedded, and part of it will be um, relieved on top like this. So we're gonna see how that works out. So that's what I did. And then the, these other ones um, are the ones that I, that I use um, silver flake and gold flake, but this is this I did last year. So th those are silver flake and gold flakes. Those are nice. And I did see those. I didn't buy any of the gold flake, and I don't think today. But this, this is the strawberry one I did last year as well. See, I like how that one and that one. Did you layer that one? 
Uh, no, I, I, I did the same thing as the other ones. See, that one looks like it's layered. It probably would. I, I can't tell because of the, the bezel. Mm -hmm. it may, I, may, I may have layered it. It's been so long. Either that or I just put them on, on top of each other when I did it. I should have done that with the with the fruit salad one. But I got more fruit salad, so I can make more. Mrs. Debbie said that's a cute idea. All right. I, I, okay. Mine is still not it's still feeling a little sticky, but Okay, I gotta do another another on the back side of the of the leaf, I gotta do it again. Okay, we're so gonna like, Oh let me let me zoom down. Just don't to rush see. it. Come on, it's it's ninety seconds each time, so you know, just if anything, you know, once what what if this is dr doing this, you can start working on your next pro, you know, pour. I I would suggest not to. Oh, I, I, this one I did last year too. I did with dried flowers. My leaf is not pulling off as easy as your leaf. <laughs> It's uh, it's not coming out. Oh well, there it goes. This looks like a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I think I did it. That's Maybe what Earl called this one. When Earl saw this one, he thought it was a Jolly Rancher. <laughs> the 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 rectangle pendant. Mm -hmm. He said, "Oh, a Jolly Rancher." Okay, so this is uh, not coming off as easily. So. Maybe because it was the back side of the leaf. Maybe, or because it's so small. I don't know. Use a pokey tool. Don't use a weed, y'all. It's still stuck to it. I'm pouring on the back of the avocado one now. Do as I say, not as I do. Yeah, okay, so going on the back side didn't work, I don't think. But I, I, I'll show you a minute the difference on the on the leaf itself, what it looks like on the back side versus the front side. So th that may be, there's some, some um, yeah, because this one's not coming off. oils or something. Okay, so that one's not coming off, and I'm getting resin all over my hands. So that was a fail. So we're going to put you back there. You see how this this side of the leaf is shiny? Mm-hmm. And then this side is matte. So that that could be a, a difference. That yeah. this, this this helps it release. Well, see, I was going to use this side, but it was, it's, it's cur it, it was curving the wrong way. Yeah. And it's also really tiny. Oh, sorry, y'all can't see what I'm showing you. So, okay. All right, we're going to put this over here and I'm going to go wash this resin off my hand. Wait, 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 I need I need more more um practice with these guys. But it turns out really cool looking. So I'm going to find me a bigger one. Okay, so what we were saying last night is that looks like ice. Here, y'all need something to look at. Look at glitter. Um <laughs> Look, look that, that looks that's pretty so cool. cool looking. It's just that that it that it spilled over here and it grabbed the leaf on the side, so when it cured, I can't get that off. You might can cut it or file it. Paula said that is neat. I know, right? That's really cool. It looks like glass. Ooh! Don't break your good scissors. No. I was I'm thinking of a fingernail file. No, it, it, it's it's too hard. Like a metal one. Oh, what about your sander? It's outside. Okay. All right, I'm going to go wash this this off my hands because, you know, I don't want shiny resin on my fingers. So I'll be right back, and I'm going to let Nancy entertain you so for just a second. This is what it looks like when I popped it off. But I, um, I still, you, you still have to play around with it because this side came out okay, and this side, is, it's a little flimsy again. You, you hear it? You want it to to be like that, not like like that. But it, it, you can see the, the the veins in there as well. There you can see it. 
So I'm assuming that the bigger the leaf or the more detailed the leaf, the better it's going to look. And um, I was trying to fill it up so it could be this nice and thick all the way around. But you see here, because the way that the leaf is, so um, this side started dripping off and this side didn't get it because it, so I don't know if, if we had to flatten the leaf out before doing it to make it, you know, even. So it's a lot of experimenting. So I don't know if you if you need to flatten this e this leaf, but I like the 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 that it, it it takes the shape of the leaf as well when it's when it's cupped like that. That thing is pretty cool. This is the one I did yesterday. This one it, it has more more loose thin pieces, and I have a, a big old hole in here in here somewhere. There it is, the big hole. So it's, it's it's fun to experiment until you get the the, and and I think also because my my resin is old, it doesn't self level itself like, like I think it's supposed to. So, uh, a lot of factors, and and like I said, practice, practice, practice. I've been practicing for a while, and, and it, it's getting a little better. Like these are. The, but I think um, if I get the the new resin, it should it should um, level on its own because my my resin is real real thick. Well, wow, that, that's curing there. I'm gonna move it over here so I can cure that part that 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 mess there too. Oh, okay. Y'all want to see what all kinds of goodies I got at Hobby Lobby? Oi, you know we do. Alrighty, let me show you all the resin goodies i picked up okay hold up did you pick up the gears i did not did you see that picture they were really big i liked it okay I, I, so. but i could i can use those for my 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 um what's that thing called hey that's oh, this one from journal yep i saw Look. the one you had yeah I looked, what, I looked at what you had because i remembered the little puzzle piece <laughs> Okay, so this one I can make all the little cute things like Nancy's been making. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna be using this one right here, the oval for for the for the the daisy. Okay, and, and you're gonna recognize this one too. I have that one too. <laughs> the little kitty kitty. We saw that on um, on the on the on the when we were we were scrolling last night. Yeah. This is the one. Yep. So I got that one. Okay, so I got these. These were also jewelry shop. Now these are opaque. That's just color. Yeah, or resin. No, this is resin. This Ooh, is opaque colored I, resin. I, I, I like the, the the idea of colored resin because that way you don't have to deal with the with the alcohol inks and make a mess. You know, right. Alcohol, alcohol inks make a big mess. And I don't have it's to worry sad. about mixing it with the tint. And seeing uh -huh. if I've got too much tint, so it's not gonna set. So, um, I that's forgot. perfect. I'm, I I'm, I'm blocking my I'm blocking my chat. There we go. Um, I need to check then, the check online for those. And then I bought these. This is a little drill, hand drill. That way, I could just like if I did like Nancy and accidentally fill in the hole, I can just drill it out real quick. Little hand drill. Look. See, there you go. I'm, I'm, I'm putting on my. Okay, so we did look at this last night. Oh. All the little baby things. I just want the bottles. Angel, <laughs> uh, let's say Angel said a wax seal would be cool in the mold shape. Oh yeah, I know, right? I mean, you know, and for half price. So it's got glitter and it's got all kinds of little goodies in here. I just want the little bottles. Is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. So we'll set you over there. What else is in my little bag of goodies? Okay, those so bottles are, are a good size for miniatures. Okay, remember we saw this one, but what I didn't realize is it's got the alphabet in it. Oh, so it's not all the same. No, it's got okay. um, yeah, it's got the ABC. So I'm like, if you wanted to make stitch markers, stitch markers. Oh, with the with the with the letter of the hook. Yeah, 
or and then so it's got all the letters and then it also has numbers oh that's great so you know if you want to do like a 5.5 you just make two fives or whatever so those are those and then that's awesome these can make keychains Ooh. Or pendants if you wanted to make a necklace or whatever. I, I do have the alphabet, the um, individual letters, but um, it didn't make it this trip. Hmm. And y'all, if you are in the States and you can't get out to your Hobby Lobby today, y'all, you can still order them online right now for half price. Look, you see how um, if you cure it off your glass mat, it comes right off. Oh, that's cool. It still has a little piece there, but I'll take that off later. When I when I say I went a little nuts, <laughs> Angel said be have earrings. I know, right? So, but like I said, everything was half price. So, all oh, you could put your you could put your initial, like, you could put P on one side and your last name on the other side. Yep. When I put when I totaled all this up, it was like forty bucks. So it was only like twenty bucks. And my sister had given me a gift card for twenty dollars for Christmas. So ta-da. Here's I I, I did the, the dome on the other side of the avocados. So now oh, it's, good, good idea. It's so nice and shiny. Nancy had some of those. Um okay, so these are just bigger mats like this, which apparently don't mind the yarn. You're supposed to just take these little boogers and uh -huh. slip them down into this mat, and it's supposed to make a seal so that if you don't have any of the tape, which I didn't see any of the tape today, but if, if you don't have any of the tape, you're supposed to be able to stick it down on the silicone mat, and it's supposed to make it not run. Okay. I'm, I'm, that I'm, is going to be that is going to be a project for when I'm not live because I have a feeling it's going to make a big old mess. But I, I'm gonna I'm gonna try it. Okay, but I thought that was really pretty. It's just, it's called sea glass. Sea glass flake mix, and it's it was like, pretty. Uh, it's the, it was the and then somebody told me last night I needed some tweezers. So I got some tweezers because they were pretty and they were half price. And I got some little spoons for all that glitter. The one that, the, the one that has the, the caramel in it. Okay, these were on clearance. This this one doesn't focus in good. Yeah, right it had a whole bunch of these little uh, beads. Oh, fancy! On clearance for dollar forty nine, the regular five ninety nine. You know what? Hold on, a, hold on a second. Now that I saw yours there, I had these that I got. Let me see if I can get them to work. Need to zoom back down. I'm showing small stuff now. Let me zoom back down. These are um. Kitty cat keychains yeah. yeah. or pendants or whatever, but it's little cat heads. Let me turn it so you can see his little ears. And I, I thought that... Miss Totally Dazzled sent me sent me these. Oh, here, let me make a sequel. Hold on, so they can see what you're showing. They sent me these. Yeah, so you could totally put those in there. And I have, I have this set, and I have this set so i have all the colors yeah so you could totally see like you could put like a little little diamond little pearl whatever in each little cat ear but i thought you know i'm gonna play around with these and i'm gonna print out a little picture of tiny and then put him in there and then put you know so then you could do custom like pet ones they didn't have any dog ones but they had these little cat ones so that's just something i wanted to play around play around with they also had the um the this ones one, that look like these, but are that were cat heads. Oh, you so can't see. I'm I'm getting a little. There's there's one bubble left there, but the, I'm getting good at the doming, and and the, it looks it looks pretty cool. That yep. It, you see, it it doesn't it doesn't self level because right there at the edge it didn't go all the way to the edge. So it's 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 you're supposed to put it in in the center here. And it's supposed to go, huh. but I think it's because it's so thick, it, it won't do it. But that's okay. I, I'm, 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 I'm having fun with it now. 
so when I get some some new resin, I can I can um have have more fun. And then that's the last thing I bought was some little tools, two sided resin tools, so I could like pick up the little thingies. Oh yeah, and then those I forgot to show those because. And that's just the same as what Nancy was using last night. If you caught it, it's just the little, the little silicone spatulas, which they sell them at the makeup section, makeup section at Dollar Tree. Yeah, yeah. Okie dokie. So now, what oh one do I want to make? Hold on a second. I put one over here. Where is he? Where is he? I'm gonna open this one. I put him. So Look. Look what Miss um Miss Chris Cut Lariscope sent me. That little tiny bunny. See, I was thinking about him. I I have smaller smaller pendants that, that I can embed him into it. <laughs> Ooh, Barry said pizza crust needs garlic butter for dipping. Mm. I'm gonna do the, the the little bunny too, cause I'm I didn't gonna, know what to do with the bunny. I'm gonna meet my girl while I while I pull this out of this pla plastic. And she sent me these that the, the one that one I used yesterday I, it was one of these, but she also sent me these with the glittery petals. So here, here's the smaller ones. So should I should I do another one of, of, of the like this one or should I use embed one of the yellow ones? Hmm. Ooh, the yellow one's got sparkle in it. Yeah, I was thinking sparkle. Let's try sparkle. Sparkle. I got plenty in there. She sent me a lot. <laughs> and I think I still have a, um from the first batch that she sent me for the craft room to make a little bunting. I still have that in, in one of, in one of the bags she sent me. All right. So I am going to the thing is now. Uh oh. Oh, there he is. I was like, where'd he go? No. The thing is now is um do it how, how much resin would I have left? <laughs> Let's right. see. Okay. I think right, I'm gonna... going to read the directions on the um on the opaque because I want to make sure that I don't have to like cure it longer. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing that cuz so you can see the see it cuz it hides Where'd the bunny go? There's a bunny. Here's the flower. Here's the bunny that I'm gonna embed, and here's the the ladybug. Okay, we'll to be, hey, disclaimer: I am supposed to be wearing gloves. Wear gloves. I. So Shh. if you're watching this, you're supposed to put on gloves. I I just I just stay away from from. Touching it before it gets um hard. I mean, yeah. So I'm just putting a layer at the bottom here. Oh, okay. I know why mine is still sticky because this says cure under UV resin light for two to four minutes. Oh, yours? Mm hmm. Probably ah. should. Have, well, at least that. At least on this one. I'm gonna look on the I'm gonna look on the translucent ones because I if that's the case then I did not cure it long enough. I mean I okay. did it for, I did it for two minutes but not four. So yeah. And then this says you can pop the bubbles with a straight pen. Yeah. Um, you can. And then it says, smooth any rough edges using fine grit sandpaper. I've tried that um, with, with the ones that I did last year. I, I, co I couldn't do it. Hmm. It, wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. Well, oh, and then I also already had this little flashlight, um, which is a UV flashlight. Um, and I bought batteries for it today, so I will be able, so I can also use it. So... Yeah, I have. I got mine to work yesterday, and, and I was telling Pam it, it it wasn't working in it. And when I turned it on with her, it worked. Mm. 
funny how things um, do that, huh? A magic. I'll be telling somebody it, it won't do this, but, and then when, when I show it, it will. I'm and, Angel said ninety seconds times three. See, and that's what Nancy was doing on hers, but mine only had thirty and sixty. And last night it said to to run it. One of them I think only said to turn it on twice. So, but. That's why I need to read the directions for each resin because it's all going to be slightly different. Mm -hmm. So I am. I'm exhausted, but I did not want to miss tonight. Got to cook while listening, though. Oh, that's 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 dedication, Miss Shirley. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Yay! I'm hanging out with us. You can cook. What are we eating? What's for supper? I'm gonna have to pull out my because Miss Chris Kaleidoscope sent me some um, embroidery thread as well. Mm -hmm. Even even though I have some, but I'm gonna use her, the ones she sent me and the the little hooks that I got from FG Normal. And, and I'm gonna try my my. my some make some miniature stuff and make pendants with um, a bunch of miniature crochet stuff. Yo, what I did them little tweezers I just bought. I do not know, Miss Pam. I said I was putting all my stuff in this drawer, but okay, I found them. Stay in the drawer. Okay. Oh, going... chicken burrito with Mexican street corn. That sounds Ooh. delicious. I'm gonna dehydrate. Be right back. Alrighty. And all I'm doing, y'all, is trying to open up. Oh, let's keep you right here. I'm just trying to open this one, and it's got like a, after I pulled off the, the, um, whatever, the little white one, it's got this layer of plastic that did not come off. So, I grabbed the little tweezers to see if I couldn't help it along. And I don't know what I did with my little napkin, so we're going to use this little piece right here. So what did everybody else have for supper? I stopped at Zaxby's because I was hungry. But that was about 2 o'clock, 2.30 ish. Let's see, what time was Nate? What time did Nancy's live end? Did she go for two hours? We'll wait till she comes back. So maybe it was closer to three my time. I'm here. What happened? I was asking what time, how, how long was your live today? This uh, hour and a half. Okay, so it may be about 2.30 then. Okay, so this resin stinks. This resin smells like a perm. Ooh. Hey, Reeves. Hey, Jen. Hey, Thrifty Crocheter. Hey, Thrifty Crocheter. Okay, so I'm going to attempt. <laughs> I'm going to attempt. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> I'm going to attempt to uh, use this one that is opaque and just fill it in this little pea. Oh, and then cure that and then add the other. Oh. And add other stuff around it. OMG. That's my, that's my thought anyway. We're going to give it a whirl. That's not fair. <laughs> I do have, because um, another company that we, that I worked with last year sent me the the mold for all the letters so it's, it's actual the shape of the letters but um i i it didn't make it to um this trip around so i still have those and I, i'm hoping that they're laying flat in one of my bins because i don't i don't want the the i don't the silicone um take shape of of something else when it's when it's hot when it's hot oh true <laughs> Hey, Miss Darcia. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna see. Y'all, is my camera backwards to y'all? No. Okay. The the letter is backwards because you're 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 filling it upside down. Yeah, but I'm just making sure because like I'm gonna mirror my camera. I think. Well. No, you're fine. We see you fine. I mean, for like me. <laughs> oh. Okay, let me let me zoom it back down though a little bit. I thought I had it unmirrored, but 
So that is what I have done. Move, move the peat there. Move it up a little bit. So that's what I did. I just put, and this one is supposed to stay looking like that. So we'll you're gonna cure it. So you're gonna cure it now. Yep. So I'm gonna zoom back out because you know all you're gonna see is the top of the light. And then we're gonna cure it because it's gonna have to cure for three minutes <laughs> or four. <laughs> So we're going to be sitting here for a little bit chit-chatting while we're, uh, you know. This is when I need to be able to just, I guess I could flip the, the camera around. But, and talk. Yeah, while we're curing. But we can zoom it back out. <laughs> and do puppet shows. I'll zoom it back out while it's curing because, you know. Okay, the first layer is done. Y'all can see all my stuff that I have not cleaned up. There, there it is so far. Come on. There we go. Oh, you can see the sparkle. That's so pretty. Here. You're actually, you're showing something pretty. Here, let's switch a rosy. There's John again. Hey, John. So y'all. Hey, everybody again. <laughs> yes. Okay, so y'all. Hooks, whips, and chains. That's what if I could, John C. That is his uh, new channel. He is going on a crochet journey. So, hey, John, Miss Susan. Type in be kind, B E E K I N D, all one word, and Nightbot should drop your link. Welcome in, Miss Susan. So, um, this this ladybug is it's bigger than what's left over here. So I'm going to put her in here, right? And then add resin. So she's going to be in resin and above resin. Oh, so it'll be on. Is that going to be like on top of the, you're going to have to be on top of the uh, flower? Oh, yeah. okay, off to the side. I see. Like that. And so she'll, oh she'll be embedded in some, in some of the resin and, and, and above the resin. I got you. And y'all, anybody else that would like to drop your link like Mr. John has done? You may also type in be kind. Please only do it one time during the live and give everybody a chance to go check you out. I'm, put, I'm putting some resin there to, to make sure that she doesn't float away. Miss Susan is happy to be here. She is doing some laundry. There. Put, put him right there. And for anybody that's just now coming in, we picked the stitch at the beginning of the live. We picked the stitch for our... our uh, your long craft along and the stitch for May is the iris stitch. I don't think I've ever done that, but it, I, it could be something that I, that I know how to do without the name of it. Right. And my, my cheat sheet where I wrote down, cause you know, as I've told y'all before, I haven't, um, like I didn't know the names of the stitches. I knew that what the stitches are, but I didn't know what the real names of them were. So I'm gonna have to look it up to see what that is. <laughs> I have to look in my cheat sheet to see what it is, what the stitch is. <laughs> because I don't remember. But that's really cute, Nancy. Mm-hmm. And, y'all, it has been a beautiful day here in Middle Tennessee today. It was I today here, too. Gorgeous. I, I was like, wow, I should have been outside today. Mm-hmm. It I, was, I was so I was pretty. busy crocheting. <laughs> it was so pretty. Y'all, what yeah. Getting my impkin ready for the for the members live. Mm hmm So the uh, one day this week that I wake up early and it's and I'm um working inside instead of being out in the the, the pretty world. Okay, so y'all, I'm looking at my little. Luckily, this is gonna be on the back side, but I can see two little air bubbles that rose to the top. So, of what? Of my pee. Oh, so that is it. so that is one downfall to the opaque because when I set it when I set the light on it I had no air bubbles so you gotta wait wait and give them air bubbles time to come to the surface. Well, hit it with the torch and it'll it'll bring them up. Well, we're not gonna hit it with a torch because you know cardboard and Pam and flame. Oh, gotcha. I <laughs> have glass. <laughs> yeah, mine, mine was cardboard, so yeah, I need to get me a glass one. Um, well, I mean, I might could have, being that it was just on the silicone, but it's okay, though, because the pea, 
I mean, if they all came to the surface, it's, it's going to be on the backside. So it should be okay. But, yeah. That's really cute, Nancy. Oh, he got a little, uh, your, your, your little, uh, your little, um, what's he called? Your little ladybug there got a little, he got a little darker. Yeah. Because <laughs> okay. he, he had, he had bubble. Well, I can take him out and put another one in. Nah, I just leave him. He looks fine. Darcia said she's been cleaning all day and rearranging things in her kitchen and pantry. Oh, nice. I, I'm, I'm looking around and make sure there's no bubbles. That's the, the downside of not having good lighting. Is I can't see what, what the my bubbles. Okay. So we're gonna have to. Um, I'm gonna flip my camera. I need to to investigate. I'm gonna flip my camera back around. Oops, wrong button. First, I'm gonna hit the right button. I'll switch. I'll switch my camera around while this is curing. <laughs> so you can see somebody's face instead of just um. <laughs> Uh, um, whatchamacallits. All right, now we're going to zoom it, zoom, zoom. And now what are we going to put around it? So, I was thinking, should I do like, like some of the translucent around it? The clear? Yeah. And, like and are you going to embed mm -hmm. something in, in the clear? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So that, okay, so that dried. So that was my problem, not letting it do it enough. Uh-huh. Hmm. I think we're going to do a little bit of, I could do like all different colors. So what are we going to put in here? Let's take a look-see. So I have you glitter. Got, you got a lot of, a lot of cool. Um, I got glitter and I got a lot of cool, cool stuff. Well, you need to add some orange in there. Well, I mean, I got, yeah. And then, I um. Stars. What's what's the, the the colors for your for your team? Orange and white. Orange and white. Mm hmm But I need color. Like all the color. Oh, let me put this back over here. I keep covering up my what chat. Okay. said to add glitter to the clear resin around it. Yeah, that's what I was gonna do. Like around here, put and in, in the center and around it. Put the put the translucent with all the little cool stuff. So Angel said, after it is hardened, is it considered acrylic? Mm, probably. I maybe. don't know. Maybe. Hey, Connie. Connie says, Hi, buzz on my amazing yarny friends. How are y'all doing today? Doing pretty good, Miss Connie. Hey, Chris lovely Kay. flower. Uh, of course, it's a lovely flower, Miss Chris K. It's one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let's see. And and, and, and Miss K, um, Miss K, Miss Chris, I'm gonna embed the 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 little bunny too. Okay, so we've got one for glitter. Miss Debbie saying glitter, and then oh, I was thinking about some of the sea glass too. Oh, how about sea glass? Is that considered glitter? Is that glittery enough? That's glittery enough to me. Okay, does so it, does it go? Does it go with the orange? Yeah, orange goes with everything. Let's be real. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, um, Mr. John said, "Go with the rainbow." Mm -hmm. Connie says, "Ooh, an alien one." So, what color should I do? Should I just do clear, clear resin around the around it, or should I do a color, a different color? I would do a clear um, resin, so that way that the, the pea pops out. Well, I mean, it, it is, but I mean, it's translucent. So it'll look like. Oh, I see what you mean. It'll like look the, like, oopsie, come here, Jolly like Ranger. The, like the leaf? Yeah. Don't Ooh. mind my arm. So it'll look like the Jolly Rancher-ish. Oh, that'd be cute. But it would be, but I'm thinking not the, not the uh, orange, because I got the orange in the middle, so. I got a bunch of colors to choose from. So we got aquamarine, royal, light green, pink, purple. How about purple? Purple with that blue. How about we try that? Wait, How's that? Try I mean, we got plenty. We can make more. 
We got all kinds of goodies to play with. Okay, I need a spoon. Spoon. I bought spoons. This one because it, the the flower is yellow, it doesn't pop out out as much as the white flower. Okay, so what I'm gonna do? Me, I need to pop this out and cure it from the other side too. All right, hold on. Oh, uh, Susan's hubby took her to Joanne's last night. She got some trubu. Tr She's going to be doing the bag of day crochet along with it. Now she has to figure out how to put the colors. Sweet. Chris K said royal. We're going to make another one. Come on. Uh oh. Uh oh, what a oh! Did I hit? I'll I'll flip my camera so you can see what's oh oh and bowing at this. Okay. Hold on. Let me let me uh let me switch. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? What? The this part of the of the of the mold is not as um releasing as the inside of the mold. You know. So, you see how this is shinier inside uh -huh. here than I see because this one the the resin popped over the side here, and mm -hmm. it's you see what it's doing with with the mold. Oh yeah, it's sticking to it. Uh huh. Because that's the outside of the mold. Uh... So because you see how it 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 went over. Right here. Uh, okay. Live hey, and learn. Sandra. Live and learn. Hey, Sandra. Welcome in. And I'm going to put a layer back here because I, did, I didn't put a layer of resin before the flower, and you can feel the flower on the back. Oh, okay. See, and that's so what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a very thin layer of this purple. Before I add all my goodies into it, first I'm still trying to open the dad blank thing. <clears throat> so, anybody in the chat? Has anybody in chat done UV resin or regular or epoxy resin? Miss Carrie said she had done epoxy resin. I know my niece has done resin. She's made some really cute earrings and stuff with resin, epoxy. Dang, these little suckers are pain in the hind end to open. <laughs> uh, John says, are you by chance using some mold release spray? Nope. <laughs> I did not buy any mold release spray. Well, the the, the inside of these, um, like I said, they, they, they release fine. Is that um, if you look at it, th this finish here, you see here, it's, it's nice and shiny. This is more matte. This is where it got stuck. Cause I, I right here is I, I I overfilled it and it grabbed this part over here. But it, it pops just fine out of this part of the of the mold. So I'm just I put a paper clip there because um the last time I did this, um it, it closed the hole up. <laughs> so we don't we don't want that again. Miss Aisha said she has made some earrings. And Jen said she has not done anything, but she has, uh, but she has some stuff. That was me. I had some stuff that was made with resin, I and then I bought all the stuff to make the resin. I just didn't actually had not actually made any. Oh, I see. Hold on. <laughs> I'll switch us again. Y'all can lick the pee. I'm on my. I'm almost ready. Sandra said I would like to try it. Well, y'all are checking out what not to do by watching me do this. <laughs> this little thing is a pain in the rear end to open. Golly. I need to go get my other, uh, my other pliers. I think would make it easier. Because this is not... And I'm trying to like peel it off without like dumping it everywhere because that would make a mess and suck. 
Uh, I went to wash my hand because I got some resin when I was doing that. Oh, she got cooties. When I was doing <laughs> that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I think um, if if I if I were to do this more often, I would wear gloves. Yeah, I'm thinking gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Because. You know, you're not supposed to get it on your skin. Okay. And now, yeah, but if if you're gonna do more than more than two pendants, I, you know. Yeah. Because we're we're doing we're doing um one here, one there. Yeah. So I would definitely definitely gloves. suggest mm -hmm. gloves. Alrighty. We're, we're trying to be careful here, but um, when you when you have something like that like that mold that didn't want to release, I ended up touching it. Amen. See, and that's me. I touched, <laughs> I touched the stuff before. Okay. Take the other one. Chris Kaladisco says, the majority of my resin is my hooks. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a thin layer of this purple. Ooh. I'm going to do a thin layer of the purple and then I'm going to put some of the sea glass in it. I see bubbles. Yeah, oh yeah, there's lots of bubbles. <laughs> there's bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. And it's not... Uh... May have to put more. I don't think I put enough. My thin layer is not. Oh, Mrs. Debbie goes. What happens if it hardens on your skin? Would it peel off or peel off your skin? Oh, I wouldn't want to know that. That I don't know. I What's don't want that. <laughs> I'm not gonna try it either. <laughs> Earl says it might burn you pretty good. Yeah, it might. Probably cause your uh, skin to adhere to that, so when you try to remove it, you might pull off your skin. That's what she said. If yeah. if it dried on your skin, you'd be, be in trouble. <laughs> Earl said you'd be in trouble. <laughs> you are correct. Do not try it at home. <laughs> he said, "Call poison control." Well, that's why I said that's why I suggest you wearing gloves. Yeah. So we probably should be wearing gloves doing this, but going to your skin and cause you have cancer. Okay, honey, thank you. <laughs> it might be a carnelogen. Carnelogen. You mean carcinogen? Yes. Okay. I don't know if I got all the little bubbles out, but we're gonna say maybe. There's one teeny tiny bubble right there, but you can hit it with the torch since you have the the the, the silicone around it, and not oh. directly on the cardboard. Maybe just a quick a quick run. I'm afraid. I'm scared. Don't be scared. We're here for you. Don't catch your house on fire. Okay, we're gonna go with that. Aisha says, dealing with resin, you gotta wear gloves and a mask. Yo. You know what? If if I if I were to, to do this more often and more um more of a bigger how you call it quantity, I would set up a table outside. Yep, I'm going to switch my camera back around. But so y'all can see, so you're not looking at just that. There we go. Yeah, I agree. Oh, here, let me switch. Yeah, I definitely, definitely should have brought in a mask and definitely should have brought in um, the gloves. See, I, I, put, I, I put a layer on the back because the flower you can still feel. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. It's like glass. I'm hoping that this this um actually I'm able to get this off. You should but, be able to. What I was just reading said you should be able to get it off with um but, sandpaper. But you you see the lady. Hold on, let me see if I can zoom in. Come on, it was just zooming in. The ladybug's half in, half out. 
Yeah, the, the, the top of the ladybug is uh, is out. So I think that's pretty cool that she she's above it as well. And Chris yeah. wants to know, would acetone remove this since it's UV? I do not know because I do not know if it is the same makeup as, say, gel nail polish, which is removable with acetone. Um, Jill, who, what is Jill? That's the cosmetologist. Yeah. Said that the gel nail polishes has is has a component in it, so that it is rem um, dissolvable Sex. with acetone. I do uh -huh. not know. I don't think this is. Resin. I don't. I don't think the UV resin. I don't think this is. I'm. I'm just hoping that if if anything, I I have my Dremel with with the cutting cutting blade. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can cut that piece off right there. But this one, look how cute that flower is in there. See, and that looks like it's suspended in a chunk of in a block of ice. Yeah, and then you see that the you can see the, the the ladybug inside, and then you get to see the ladybug up here, the little belly. Mm -hmm. Her Jen, belly's at the top. Jen says she has baby wipes to help clean ups. She's back. See, that's I bought some. Uh, I bought some baby wipes. I should go grab them. There uh, are like the uh, the handy wipes. Wait, wait. I, I'm having trouble with this resin because look look what it did right here. A little bit cloudy. Yeah, I think it's just my resin. It's it's old and chunky. Miss Mrs. Debbie said that's very cute. It is still really cute though. It is cute. I I'll, I'll still I'll still wear it. it. It won't be something that would sell. Doretha said she likes the the half in half out ladybug. See how this side is all nice and shiny. Mm-hmm. I don't know why it didn't do that on this side. Well, maybe what you could. I wonder if you could have. Hmm. Jill said resin may conduct heat on the skin. I would. Yeah, probably because. Yeah, I don't know. I was thinking of doing another layer on top of here, but then um, I don't know how that would affect because this is not flat here. Uh huh. Oh, if how it would, it would. If it would make a bit di difference, will it, you know, make this clear again? I don't know. I mean, you could try it. Sure. You could try it since you said, like you said, it's for you. I need, I need my glasses because I, I, I need to make sure that I don't overfill it. And I don't is know how many times did Sandra I come in. Did I say hello to Sandra? I, I'm, I'm, I, I may not. Know. I'm sorry, Miss Sandra. Hello. If I didn't say, I'm getting really close to it so I can I'm see. I'm watching Nancy, y'all. If y'all see me looking down, I'm watching the screen. I'm watching what she's doing. I'm learning. I'm learning with y'all. And I'm learning what not, like, on my own, what not to do and what to do differently. Hey, mm -hmm. Miss C. Welcome in. So, one thing I do know for sure, I will be wearing my gloves. I've got some gloves in there. So, when I get ready to make way more items than what I'm currently making, definitely will be wearing gloves. I will also make sure that I have a really good light so that I can see um, all of the little air bubbles. Mm -hmm. And I will bring in a glass tray to be working on so that if I do want to hit it with flame... It's not, I'm not working on a piece of cardboard. I'm about to um, slide it off this paper right now. Because I was about to hit it. <laughs> and Jill said acetone might, but paint dissolver would be best. Okay, and it looks, it looks clear. It does. So let's see. Okay, move you over here. Hello, Mrs. Miss, excuse me, Miss C. Yep. And while, um, if you want to turn your camera for a second, I'm going to leave sure. you big. I'm going to run grab my, um, dang, what was I getting ready to go grab? Oh yeah. My container, because I don't know if this is a baggie. Oh, I don't know if this is a resealable baggie or if this stuff is going to dump out. So I'm going to go grab, grab one of my little containers to dump it in. Okay. So I will be right back. And Miss Jill, I appreciate you listening, even though you're suffering with a migraine, because I know that yeah. is sucky. While, while, while this is curing, I'll show you my little imkin. 
Yes. I made I made the curls on my members only live today. Cause um the, the, the items for this impkin was were chosen by my members in December. I was supposed to do it in January, but you know, life happened. So she's supposed to have the curls on her head and she also has a, the curls for her tail. So I, I'm that's what I'm doing next. She she had a unicorn and she had ears. So that's what she looks like now. This curl here, for some reason, came out short. So I added another curl under it. So that way it's it's all more or less even around. If you didn't see the, the members only left, the, bed, the, the body itself here is inside of um, a pantyhose filled with poly, poly pellets. Because I, I wanted her to be heavy, because so because of the head being up with all this hair, because he he doesn't have that and he tends to fall down. So I, I have to lean him up against something for him to, not to fall down. Oh. But but she's 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 body heavy now, so she's not. That's the word weighted. Thank mm -hmm. you. <laughs> So that 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 she she's not gonna fall back on her own. She's she's there. So when we finish with her, we're gonna give her a name. She needs it. She needs it, her tail, which is gonna be the same as the the curls, because they picked the the curls for the tail. And she's gonna be wearing a tutu. So, while so. while I was in there, I grabbed my my wet lap. So 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 he he. So she she she's she, she that, that's her that's her brother right there that I made. See, see the thing was I made this guy to do all this, right? But when I finished him, I go he looks too cute. I, I didn't mm -hmm. want to add anything else. So he he was naked for a while. Just said Missy for a name. And, <laughs> and, and then I added the the bow tie and the and, and the little top hat. So <laughs> Kimberly doll is in the shelf because her face isn't done yet. Yeah, she you has, guys. She has to face the backwards because, because she has. Because um, the eyes and the mouth, I I I I do different layers and different layers to fill in the holes from the crochet. So when I do the 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 teeth and the eye the eyeballs and everything, it's, it's a little smoother. It is not dipping like that because of the stitches. So she needs about two more layers before I actually paint the colors. So that's why she's face in the back and hello miss angela welcome in hello miss angel let me a angela okay so i'm just gonna open this oh yeah it is not a ziploc baggie so i'm glad i went and got a container although this is a big old bag i don't think my container is big enough but it's gonna be all right okie dokie so now I'm going to add some of this to Oi. Miss Kimberly is sending me names for her now. I, I told her I, I wasn't going to um I wasn't going to um name name her until uh, she was finished. <laughs> okay, now I lost my scissors. They're probably behind me. Oh, scissors. Oh nope! I hid them. I hid them behind the resin. Is Archie in in the chat today, or I haven't seen him? I haven't seen him because I, I told him that because he he won one of the the the, the gifted memberships yesterday, uh -huh. and I told him that well now you can play with with the with the funny emojis. He goes, I have literally no idea what emojis are. <laughs> 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 We're gonna have to teach him. <laughs> That was fun. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Now we're gonna cut this open. We're just gonna cut a little corner because, and then I'll dump this in the in the containers after. Okay. I'm gonna use my little spoon here, and we're gonna sprinkle some little sea glass in here. Oh, that is. Uh, you you got us those little spoons too? I did. I've been wanting to get some too. 
Oh, these, we're just, I guess we're just going to go for it. We're just going to, that's, okay. Where my tweezers go? <laughs> <laughs> just move y'all around. It's that's not gonna, crazy, though. It's not going to matter if it's, like, on the, on the back side of the pee because. You're not going to see it on the front. Yeah, because it's not, it's, it's, it's not uh, translucent. What, 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 not. what we're seeing is the back of the pendant. Right. You back over there, go in there. But I'm trying to space it out so I can get it. All right, y'all think that's enough? Is that spread out a good? Y'all see a little spot that needs more? I'm here. I'm moving because I'm. Tr my, my camera is literally in front of your pee. <laughs> oh, sorry. So, I, so I'm here moving to the side to, to get it. I'm waiting for for this this light to 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 turn off so I can check it, make sure. But that's pretty cool though. All righty. How, how much was that mold? The 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 letters mold. Yeah. Uh, I don't remember. I think this one was, wasn't that one $7.99? Yeah, it was $7.99, so half price, so four bucks. That is not bad. Let me write these names down, because, um, Jill says he looks like a Charlie. Yeah, and Sanja <laughs> said Sprite. Sprite, so I need to write them down. And then, if anything, I'll, I'll, I'll do a, a, a poll on my community tab when, when we're read, ready to name her. Lower right quadrant. So right here? Yeah, I see right there. It needs a couple more in there. So, okay. And let's see here. Um, Miss Sandra or said she's been slacking tonight because they had a picnic and game day. They're all tired, but it was a nice day. Oh, well, that's that's not slacking. That's just resting after a long day. Miss Jill I'm says here. she ordered our cameras and she's going to have Mr. Fiber um, set it up. Awesome. Okay. Did I put it on the right side? Which side was it? Right, right, yeah, right a little so. bit lower. A little bit lower. Yeah, I think I did. I think I got yeah, it where okay. it needed to go. Yeah. I, I had... um. But the Kim Kimberly called her Katrina the ballerina. Katrina the ballerina. I'm looking, said, I'm looking at an angle. Charlie. So I'm trying to uh I'm put here PJQ. Okay. Fiber and Sanja said what? Sprite. Sprite. So once I get everything on her, she she might she might look differently, and you guys might want to change her name. <laughs> you you reserve the right to change your vote. Yes, you can. So I'm gonna I'm gonna switch my camera so we can see how this second coat on the on the top came out. All right, and I'm ready? gonna I'll, I'll switch us. Hold on, let me switch us because I'm getting ready to 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 do the resin on this one. Uh huh. Well, we're gonna switch a rosy. There you go. Oh, uh, Angel said she loves Katrina the ballerina. Shirley said had to run to the store, so we are with her at Dollar General. That so, is one so, I didn't so that, that frosted look here, it did go away. Look. Oh yeah, it did. It's shiny. Yeah. Yay. So the, the 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 ladybug is still above. It didn't feel complete. You see how the, the little bumps right here? Mm-hmm. But that's okay. It's clear on clear. Like I said, this one's my oh, there's a bubble right there. Is there a bubble on the left of the P? On the top of the P, maybe. But that's okay. Like I said, and it and it and it overflowed on this side too. 
when I did the second coat the on top. Mm-hmm. But I'll, I'll, this this will just give me a, a a good um practice piece to um how you call it to uh sand it down and see how it, how it works out. But even even the now the back look look at the back. You can see the glittery of the of the fl- of the flower. James. Come on. Oh, yep. There we go. Yeah. You, you can see the glittery of the flower. And yeah, th- this right here. It, so it, it's just a matter of Dremel or sandpaper. I've, I've tried mm-hmm. sandpaper. It, it won't budge this thing. Because I, I have the the ones from last year that I tried to sandpaper. It didn't work. But I'll I'll try this because I have a Dremel with the with the sanding sanding um drum mm-hmm. to see if that works. But well, I can I'll, tell you as I'm as I'm adding this uh, resin to the top of this, my little where I put them, they're floating. So, but you can see the the little ladybug in there. Come on, you can do it. I oh, know you can. Oh, you don't. He he. he it's it's cute on both sides, so you you know you could do it on the, the ladybug side or just the flower side. Jill says I'm going to shower. We'll be back. Okie dokie. All right. There we go. So what are we buying at Dollar General, Miss Shirley? Yeah. I want to know. Uh, uh, I don't have a metal file, so I, 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 I couldn't I couldn't test it out. All, all I have file wise are these guys. Where where are they? Where did it go? Just the, the the regular files. And I'm trying to see if I guess I could let me switch Rosie. These guys here. Where I'm trying it? to see if I've got all my. We're going to do it this way and see if I can see it better. I think a metal file might work. Because uh-huh. this this is doing something. Okay. But it's not it's not hard enough for this. Gotcha. Okay. I'm I'm I was looking to see if I could see any bubbles. It's hard to tell. Yeah, it's hard with the uh, without another light. Oh wait, where's <laughs> what's that? My cell phone. <laughs> I was gonna say not the black light. <laughs> no, it's my cell phone. Okay, because I think either I have a bubble here or there's no resin right there. So we're gonna. Put a little dabble right there. I'm I'm going to do the. It was a bubble because it but it popped when I touched it. Okay. okay. I'm going to do the little bunny now. Oh, okie dokie. Covered up my. So I'm hey, divergent see. crafter, welcome in. Hello. Oh, so Crystal says when dealing with resin, if you don't want floating. Do a thin, small layer, then cure. I did that. Then spray alcohol and continue. <laughs> I did not spray alcohol. I guess the alcohol would help it stick to the resin, huh? Because it would be like a moisture. <clears throat> hmm. There, there's a, a lot of things that we, we don't know about this, and we're going to keep on. Yeah, this learning. is only the second time I've done resin, and the first time was last night on Nancy. So, <laughs> so I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to do a, the rectangle. This one here, hold on. I gotta, I gotta bring paper over so you guys can actually see it. All right, and then one. This one here. I'm gonna pop these little air bubbles that I see. I think that's it. That's all I can. And then I will uh, see? switch this so that you, they can see you. Look at him. I'm sorry. I I need some tweezers because I don't need my. I got my hemostats. So I'm gonna push these down in there just a little bit. And then I'm making sure I don't have any little bubbles. So I'm going to do a thin layer and cure. 
because the last one I didn't I didn't do that, and you can feel the flower from the other side. So I'm just doing a little thin thin layer. There's a teeny tiny air bubble right there. Come on now, be gone. Okay, I don't want to pop. I don't want to hit it with the uh, flame again because I'm not real comfortable with that thing yet. Yeah, you mm -hmm. you need to to. And so I need to practice with it. So <laughs> Jim says, light it up. I could. You mean, you mean light it up as in seal it or light it up as in have a flame? You see that? You see that big old bubble hey, right Chris. there? Hey, Chris. Hey, Chris. Hey, Karen. So DC said, yep, it helps okay. with adhesion okay. and it can help with popping they the see. bubbles. Okay. Yeah, I got the small torch. Although that looks like a giant torch. I, I, I love, I love regular... his emojis. His emojis for us. Aw, thanks. You have the bee and I have a little cheer. cheer. I guess my kind of treasures. Okay. I mean, I got this here. Okay. okay. Well, I, I, I hit it with the flame just a little bit. So I'm going to do 190 second. And then and I'll put the, 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 the little bunny on top. And I'm thinking if, because the y'all are, it's, you can't see how, I need to, I need to bring it closer to me. <laughs> so that way I can uh, see what I'm seeing a little yeah, bit. That, uh, it, like I said, there, you need good lighting for this. Yep. And, and, and it's far away. It's not like super far away from my face, but like, it's not super close either. So <laughs> we're going to. I have, I, have, I have like uh, I'll show you. So okay, we're gonna switch that way, Nate. Y'all can see Nancy, and we're gonna turn on the curing light. You see that this this is the, my arm of my tripod that uh -huh. is, it has my camera all the way down there, <laughs> and so I I have to get around this camera in order to to see it. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch it so we can embed the the little bunny now. Okay. DC says that looks small to her because she uses industrial torches for things that work. So it looks like a flamethrower. Oh, yeah. She, she thought, she, yep. She's a, a, a welder. Yep. So we're going to grab this little guy that Miss Chris Kaleidoscope sent me. Look how tiny that Cute. thing is. It's a little bunny. It's a little bunny. She, she made this bunny with the pattern that I made. Hold on, let me grab one. These guys, but uh, this is with a with acrylic with in a, a, a four millimeter hook, and this is hers. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the size of the of the of the bunny tail. <laughs> yeah. So we're, gonna, we're gonna put put this guy in here. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. Oh, you could put some you could put some glitter around the bunny. I'm going to do one layer, and then I'll add some glitter. Or should I mix the glitter with the with the, the last layer? Or put a little like pick them back up and put sprinkle a little glitter, and then then put or, it down. or a little something or like do you have anything green you could put at the bottom? I know I'm just like you know. Um, these gems. Put a put a couple of well, you could. Well, it's up to you. What do y'all think? Jen says green at the bottom and blue at the top. See, that's what I was thinking. And Crystal said iridescent glitter would be awesome. See, I was that was my first thoughts too. Hey, Cindy, welcome in. Do, and do yes, I have Miss Jen? Type in. Um, you can go ahead and drop the link to that party. They're having a party, Jen and Ivy. And anybody that wasn't here earlier, if you would like to drop your link, Mr. Nightbot will do that for you. And the keyword tonight is be kind, B-E-E, -E, kind, all one word. One second, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm getting my, my glitter out. My project is taking way longer than Nancy's, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm having to open stuff and all that kind of fun jazz. Miss Cindy saying hi to everybody. Miss Cindy, I like your new uh, picture. That's cute. So did you dye your hair all the pretty cool funky colors? 
Oh, I do have iridescent. Oh, oh there you go. See, I think that would look really pretty. I think this is iridescent. Hold on. It's way in the back. Iridescent. I'm, I'm glad I have the other camera on. on, on uh, you, you see me reaching. <laughs> see, I, I taped it all up. This guy. Yeah, see, that would be pretty. So do it. Do a little bit of this, and then, then the bunny. Mm hmm And then, if you wanted to put like some, some, some glitter at the, or some uh, jimmies, green jimmies at the bottom, like, like, like grass, you could, but you don't have to, because that, that glittery will be, should be good. And Jen saying Tuesday night is her birthday party. Please come and say happy birthday, please. I'll be there in, 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 in spirit. I'll watch the replay. Yep, Miss Nancy has little treasures on her tiny Tuesdays. Nindy says, nope, it's a wig, haha. -ha. But she made a video sometime back with a Timu order and decided to put it on the other day, was feeling down and needed to pick me up. Well, I think it looks super cute. I've been looking at the wigs on Timu. I hadn't bought any of them, but they look fun, and I like that one a lot. My 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 lid broke, so don't you have a little spoon? I told you I wanted a spoon because I saw your spoon. I don't have a little spoon. You got all kinds of tiny stuff. You don't have a little tiny spoon? No, I don't. <laughs> I forgot to turn my camera. Y'all just looking at the top of my little thingamabobber. So I, can, just... I can change it now. <laughs> okay. There you go. And then now you can put out... And if anybody wants to donate for her party, you have to go to Miss Ivy's community tab to do so. So is everybody having a great weekend? I can't believe it's already Saturday night. This weekend is just flying on by. Tomorrow, I'm going to get back in here in the craft room and attempt to organize a little bit more. Last weekend was uh, pretty busy. And next weekend is going to be busy. So tomorrow is the only day. And I also need to Hi, Cindy Lulu. make, a, um, make a, uh, uh, a blanket for my niece for her. For her bridal shower, which is next weekend. <laughs> Crystal said, how can the miniature lady not have a tiny spoon? <laughs> Picking on Nancy. Well, you know what? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> she just remembered. She must have a tiny something or other. <laughs> I'm going to my kitchen. My miniature kitchen. Hold on. Well, you got it now. You're welcome, Jen. It, it may be too small, but I'm just going to show you. Come on, get them off. Come on, here we go. <laughs> I think mine's about cured, and then I'm going to flip it around and put Are more, you, uh, one more ready? resin. Yeah. You ready? I figured it would be too tiny. Oh, but that would still work. You could use that. It's a little teeny tiny ladle. <laughs> I forgot about this guy. But uh, I already put them in there. Yeah. Okay. Let's test this. Still a smidge sticky. Let's turn you back hey, on. Hey, Connie. Hey, Connie. Welcome in. Crystal says, perfect. Exactly. So, are you supposed to start with your resin, people that have done resin before? Are you supposed to start putting the resin in the middle and then work your way out? Because if so, I did mine totally opposite because I started on the outside ring and then... So, tell me what I did wrong, please. Because I'm not... I This is the first time I've done resin. Second, you know, last night was the first night. So, let me know, please, for those that have worked, have done it before share with the class are you, are you using the new resin that you got today or the older resin i am using the uh, so far today I've, I've used the new resin because i bought the opaque and the translucence both today because they were jewelry shop brand no okay. wait 
Okay, the translucent is not Jewelry Shop brand. So it was regular price, but the opaque was Jewelry Shop brand, so it was half price. So, but Ms. I'm using Lori, all those. That's what I'm using today is the Ms. new stuff. Lori's been um, hey, Lori. working on a blanket. <laughs> she said she's going to regret not doing some of the work she brought home. That's okay. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Crystal said it's just about breaking surface tension is what she was taught. Okay, so it doesn't matter then. Either way. Either either starting in the center or from the outside. Either way. My thing is I'm just wanting to make sure that I'm I get just, all the air bubbles out. What I'm That's what I'm doing now with, with, the, with the bunny. I'm pushing it down and making sure that, that, that it's, that it's um, soaked with the resin and getting all the bubbles out. Miss Cindy says she's got to go for now, but love seeing you on your live. Hope you'll have a super happy upcoming week ahead. Love y'all bunches. Thank you, Cindy Lulu, for popping in. Have a great night. And I do love the wig. I think that's super cute. There we go. Is he straight or more or less? Uh, Does he need more glitter? I don't know. What do y'all think? More glitter? I mean, you know, it's glitter. Do you want the glitter to be on the bunny? Not really. See. Is his ear sticking up on the left? No, it's it's it, it's, it's just a weird angle. Okay. You see? Because it's it's down. Okay. I'm I'm just making sure that, that he stays in, in a there's a bubble right there. I'm gonna hit it with the torch. <laughs> Oh, Again, I'm moment. watching Nancy, y'all. One moment, please. Can you take it off the paper? Yes, because I don't... See, look how dark we going to be. We are, Carrie. We are still live. You know we like to talk. It's only okay. been two hours. That's, so that's, that's short for us. <laughs> right? So, Carrie, did you have a good trip? Where'd she go? I think, did you go back to D.C.? Is that where you went, Miss Carrie? I kind of think so. I can't remember. I'm going to cure. Uh, if I need to do a, a, another layer of doming, I will. So I, I got to cure that for three for three 90-second cycles. And she said, yeah, it was cool. I'm gonna switch my camera back. We're still playing with resin, Miss Carrie. We're going back and forth. C camera, resin, face. Camera, resin, face. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's uh oh, I guess I can zoom back out just a smidge. My light should be going off here in just a sec. Maybe. It should be about cured, I would think. Oh, look at the the, the way your lights hit, um, hit the back of the, of the of the camera there. Ooh. It looks like bubbles. It looks like bubbles. That's cute. It should be about done, I would think. We got bubbles. Ooh, Carrie bubble has hot chocolate. Around. Yummy. I got a box of hot chocolate right there. So this is what we got right now. It's still a touch sticky, but not maybe it's just the maybe it's just the translucent ones it's just i mean it's not like sticky sticky like that one was the other night where it was just like picking it up uh-huh i may hit it one more time shirley's back home Let's see, we, have 29, we have 29 people watching yay welcome in everybody Crystal wants to try thumbs up. huh yeah 35 oh. thumbs up woohoo Crystal says she wants to try doing resin countertops, and this is really making me want to do it even more. I know. See, I had thought about that too. So pretty. All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit this one more time because I brought, I brought all my all my glitter colors out here. I have green, blue, gold, silver, purple. What's this one? Caribbean blue. I have a. Uh, what color is that one? This is like a hot pink. Um, it doesn't have a color. Oh, in the back, maybe. 
me switch. Show us what you got. No, it doesn't have a color. But look, look at that bright pink. That's pretty. Then I have this. Oh, this would be nice. It got big chunky glitter. Silver. Ads are running. Yeah, I got the ads going every 30 minutes. Ah! They, they're, they're quick ads, though. They shouldn't last very long at all. Look at the, the Caribbean blue and purple. Pretty. This is when I when I used to do um the the the, the glitter truck tumblers. Oh I have, yeah. I have gold, silver, a uh, royal blue, gold. and a green. Silver and of green. course, I've got onyx. Black. I've got some black. I've got black glitter over there. Uh, Susan, burn. am I gonna make keychains or stitch markers? Yes and yes. <laughs> Crystal says chunky. Mm -hmm. That's yes, a chunky glitter is cool. Right I'm, not now, sure. I'm, I'm not sure why I bought the chunky glitter because um none of my tumblers ended up with chunky glitter, so I, I it may have been that it was on clearance and, I, and it looked cool. But um, it's, it's um it's called true silver and it's jumbo glitter. Oh, hold on, let me switch it back. Oh, I like that. So uh, that that could be a, a cute for for ju just to um. Oh, it's hexagons. I thought it was circles. Oh, it is interesting. Little from from here, when I'm looking at it, I thought it was circles. Well, when you first held it up, I thought it was circles. When it zoomed in on it, I could tell. Okay, so yeah. so Miss Susan, this one is. You can switch this back. I will. There we go. Okay, so this one is going to be a keychain. What's the size of those circles? I'm sorry. You know, but... Why you want to ask me a question I ain't got an answer to? <laughs> I'm going to guess about a little over an inch, maybe. Or maybe an inch. Nope, they're an inch. An inch? That's not a bad size. Oh, you can't see. Ha -ha. They're an inch. <laughs> That's not a bad size. Um, so I'm thinking that the, these are going to be keychains, and then I got these here, which have all of the letters on them, and they look like, you know, they're, they look like a little beehive, but each one of these already has, like, the little hole, or the little thing to make a hole, uh -huh. so if I got those, I can do, like, little stitch markers. And what size are those? <laughs> these are itty bitty. She's like, Nancy, leave me alone. Okay, so at the widest, these are half inch. Half inch, okay. And then they go down to what, a quarter? Yeah. Quarter inch, yeah. Mm hmm So those would be little, little bitties. Or, you know, I could make like, you know, these types of keychains or, and then make this one with initials that you could also put on there. Or, you know, you could put it on a, a bracelet. Um, hold on a second. Let me see something. Ooh, mermaid tails. Yes, that would be pretty. Uh, um, Chris, you could use the big sparkles to make a stitch marker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I was hoping that this one here, because that's that's a half an inch right here. This one, but it doesn't have a um, you know how they have the the hole for the. If I use this, I will, I will have to have drill my own hole. But that's a half an inch right there, because these um, these would be, uh, I don't know that they're they're my, the size of my thumb. You see this one right here? I don't know if that's to be too big for a, for a stitch marker. I can always try it if it's too too heavy or something. I I, don't, I can use it for something else. I'll. Read read the um diversions um comment. I like them big. I like them chunky. I like them big. I like them plumpy. I like them round with something something. They said my sound. They think I'm funky. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Something. Sometimes a song just pops in your head, and you just gotta get it out. I'm trying to see any any. Any of these will do. These are too big. 
Those are too big. These don't have holes. Like I said, I, I, if anything, I can I can drill with my Dremel. Now I'm gonna have to go listen to that song because now I can't get the tune in my head or rap or whatever. I gotta I gotta go because because that's gonna bug me. <laughs> But I do, I, I do want to get those letters that Pam has there. Because because the song that's in my head right now is not that one. What's in my head is the Humpty Dance. And <laughs> that's the, what I'm trying to make them words flow to. And it's not working. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Are you on your last layer? Yep. Oh, I can't wait till we pop it we'll out. Do, we'll already do it out. I did a thin layer because it was almost... I just wanted to make sure I got all them little... Bloop bloops covered. Yeah. You know, bloop bloops. That's the technical term. Uh, of course. And I just want to see you pop it out and see. Don't forget when you pop it out, you still have to um cure it on the other side. Yeah, I will. And let's see, Chris says you can always use as progress markers, true. I'll try true. them. I'll try them. I, 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 you know me. I'll try something more at least. All right. I think I got all the. I'm let, getting let better me, with my little flame flame. Let me put my my ladle back in the kitchen. Okay, go put your ladle in the kitchen. And then I'm gonna uh, cure this. See, and I also got my little flashlight here, so I could, you know. Ooh. we we'll use the big light. I don't want to blind nobody. I just want to see what it looked like. Wrong button. We'll put this back over here. I'll turn my camera back. And let's see, Angel says, I want a granny square charm. Okay, so Angel, I had thought about after I saw what Nancy did last night with with what Chris had sent you. I had thought about because I have tons of of uh, embroidery floss. So I had thought about making a little teeny tiny granny square and putting it in um, this new mold. This is why I bought this one mold. That was one of the things I was thinking of doing. Like, like this one here. Yep. And one of these <laughs> you, we're, we're pointing at yep. the same one. <laughs> depending upon, depending on how big, like which hook I use or how big the granny square comes out. But I'm like, that would be absolutely adorable. Yep. So that's what I was thinking. You could put it there. Yep, yep, yep. Or you could even do like, if you did like the, um, if you made a little teeny tiny hexagon one. You could put it in the round. Let's see. Uh, Karen said that V makes granny square earrings out of clay. Oh, that's cool. That would be cute. But yeah, I was thinking about that earlier today because I have tons of... Let's see. When Hobby Lobby had their clearance sale... Oh, I put it in the store over here. When Hobby Lobby had their clearance sale, I bought these. Whoa. Tons of these, not tons, but I bought loads of, whoa, Nelly, I just dumped this whole thing. Anyway, I bought bunches of them in all the colors that they had. And, and Chris know? said there are patterns on Instagram. Oh, I don't need a pattern for a granny square. I, I have, But I, I might have. do some like different, um, like maybe... Like the Willow Granny Square, like some of the different ones. With the Willow one, I know that's why I popped in my head. But like there are other Granny Squares, so I could do. Oh, you're talking about with the floss? Gotcha. So I have the floss that, that um, FG Normal sent me too. I have all the colors. So I'll have to check that out then. So do you just do a search on Insta for uh, floss stuff? Have you have you seen on Instagram? The lady that's making a full-size 
bedspread with miniature one inch square grannies. Yes, I did. It's that's insane. Uh, Crystal said it would be cool if you did a retro 70 colored thing that would like just a traditional old school granny square with the black on the outside. That would be cool. I switched the camera because it's it's um curing so. <laughs> yeah, I gotta turn mine back on because I turned around and and got it. Yeah. Yee. Okay, so Chris, so do I just need to go to Instagram then and type in uh floss granny squares or what 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 I need to search for to find out the patterns, or just crochet floss? I'm I'm there now. Let me see. Just wondering. And y'all, here's my little crochet. water bottle. This is what I took with me today. Floss. Oh, Chris says Nancy has photos she can share. Any square. Well, it doesn't come up crochet floss granny square. <laughs> <laughs> it says no results found. There's so one let lady. Take, let me take the the the. The There's one lady that I used to follow on there or used to pop up on my feed quite a bit and she made herself a, um, she, she used like just the, she didn't pull them apart. She used to use all six strands of floss and made a skirt. She made a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of, and it may be the same lady doing the bedspread, but she made a bunch of little squares and then made herself a skirt. Wow. Out of the floss. It was so adorable. So it, it doesn't come up under granny square because regular granny squares come up. We'll okay. have to um, work on that searching later. Yep. <laughs> Karen said, just do a regular one, but use your DMC thread. See, that's what I was going to do. I was just yeah. going to, you know, just do a regular old granny square just using thread. Mm -hmm. Me too. Yep. Cause, <laughs> because that's one thing that I've that I known how to do for a long time. So as far as the granny square, there are other granny squares. I even made it's not in here. Look. Yep. See, I've got tons. Where did I? Is it in here? It, it, they even sent me the the, the little cards to wrap no. them in. Um, see, I've got some of those too. The little the little bobbins or mm -hmm. the little card bobbins. I got the plastic ones, and I, the first ones I bought were cardboard. These I are plastic. Okay, yep. uh, I like the plastic ones. You can write on them with a little sharpie. Let's see how this look came out. Okay, let me let me switch us to make you bigger. Oh, cute! Look how cute that turned out. And y'all, I may be I may be curing mine way longer than needs to be cured, but I don't want it to be. See that, that's the back because it, uh, where the glitter I uh, did the glitter, glitter first. But if you want it, it to be on the glitter side, you can too. It doesn't hide the bunny, but you can tell it iridescent. And are those hexagons too? I can't tell. Hold on. <laughs> Let's see. Crystal said back in the day, back in the fifties, they would make whole bedspreads and tablecloths with thread. They were gorgeous, and evidently extremely patient, overly stressed out women. Overtly stressed. Hey, my that's all my grandmother used. She. That's all my my grandma <laughs> um, made my parents a, a bedspread. Is they still have it. Yep. That every other square has um a, a three dimensional rose and it's all made out of thread, and it's for a queen size bed. My grandma she made like just huge bed spreads, like all all in one piece, like not the granny square ones, but the ones that had like strawberry or um, mm -hmm. pineapple. Patterns. Mm -hmm. Come on, that you turned can out. Do it. So there we go. Cute. That's adorable. And guess what? I'll, 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 I'll be less likely to lose this guy now. Because <laughs> I had him in, in, the, in the plastic container because I was afraid I was going to lose him. I didn't and the, know way the, ear, him. the way the ears did, now they really stand out. You can see the ears. Like, that's cute. Mm -hmm. That turned out really, really cute. And and it's and, and, it, and it, the both sides came out. This this I could probably do another coat on top because it, it's, it's dipping in. But I'm uh -huh. afraid to. Why? Why are you afraid? Because um, it, it, d d d because of what happened with the other ones that I overflowed it. Ah. Uh, because the, the sides are nice and even. <laughs> All four sides are even. 
It doesn't bother me that, that it dips in a little bit. That's what I was getting ready to ask. Is it going to bother you if that is no, dipping? No, you see, it's, it's not that much. You see? <laughs> Lori says, y'all always make me either hungry or ready to start a whole new craft. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Those look like little ice cubes. Or, I mean, that is just so cute. I like that. See, now I've got some ideas of like this, when I'm doing this craft this notes, what I can make that would, you know, that might sell that's different, you know. But yeah, this you can get it crochet. Is, hold on, let me get a, a ruler. See, I, I, I lost my turtle yesterday. He's somewhere around here. He might be. <laughs> May, may have walked away okay so they did not have the big gnome you know the gnome that we were looking at online last night okay so they uh -huh. didn't have the gnome they did have the turtles the three turtles and that one turtle is big it's a big turtle like it's i should have took a picture it's way bigger than it looked like it was online this is a turtle i was looking for he was okay he was he's not that big but he's big <laughs> this little um guy is he's a little a little over an inch, inch and a inch and an eighth by three quarters. So what I'm gonna do, he, he's gonna be um gonna gonna put a jump ring on him with the lobster mm -hmm. claps, mm -hmm. and he's gonna hang from my notebook. He's cute. Okay, so Shirley said while we while they were she was in the car, we asked if anybody had used resin, but she couldn't answer. And so her answer is yes. She took an acrylic circle keychain blank cut initials and in vinyl on a cricket and then covered with glitter and uv resin nice they had the blanks those are also jewelry when, shop when I, when I was doing the 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 glitter tumblers i, mm -hmm. I used um my cricket to cut vinyl to, so i i did the first layer of glitter with the with the resin mm -hmm. with the vinyl and then did a, um I, first first I, I cured the the glitter with the resin Put the vinyl, put another layer of, of resin, and cured that. Um, and, and then so that, that that was inside the, the resin. Ooh. So I use my. I I've done a, a little bit of everything. Like I said, I'm. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm I have not to tried the here. resin. I have not tried the resin tumblers, but I have a friend that makes them, and so I'm just like I will just get them from her, like the one that you got. I yeah, I didn't make that. Kimberly said that I may have a a miniature shovel, but the shovel that I have is too big. Hold on, where is it? Oh, for the uh, for the spoon. Yep. Oh, where is it? I thought I had it with the, with all my all my miniatures up here, but it's not. You see, Shirley said she also hasn't done tumblers, but she's done a bunch of coffee mugs and T-shirts and hats. See, and that's the other thing, like my, um, one of my good friends, she's got a sublimation machine. So if I want anything like that done, like she and I designed, where's it at? It's right here. Hold on. But look, if, if I, once I, I, I perfect these guys, the, the leaves, look at this. See, that would be cute. That'd be cute. Yep. See, we designed this. This is my little, this is my little bee. I mean, this is bee. This is my mask. She's right there. She's my little alpaca. And of course, you know, Dr. Pepper can. So this is all my yarn. I'm a yarn bowl. This was one picture. So we took it out, put it in front of all the yarn. But then we put it on a tile. But this is sublimated on, so it's not going anywhere. But so, like I said, that's something that I think is really cool. But I didn't have to invest in all the stuff because one of my good friends has it. So yeah. I went to her house and we played with Canva. And I think she has another program, too. And we put it all in there. And we tweaked the saying because it says, if you, I'm sure y'all seen all the different things like on Timu or on Facebook or on wherever. And it says in my dream world, it says yarn is free and coffee is healthy. Well, anyway, so mine says, in my dream world, yarn is free. Dr. Pepper is healthy and crochet and makes you skinny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's got all my goodies. It's got my yarn. It should my make my you skinny with, with, with all, the, all, the, all the hand movement that you do. Sure. <laughs> sure. 
Let's see. Says you need one of those little silver spoons that were so popular back in the seventies. LOL. Now my um my mom gave me when I when I had my first son, she sent me a silver spoon. Just because <laughs> she's like, there you go. He's born with a silver spoon in his mouth. Uh, Shirley said she has a sublimation printer. Crystal said her cousin That's does it. sublimation and tumblers. It's her business, so I choose to support her. No, Shirley says she didn't buy an actual sublimation printer. She put the sublimation ink in ink it. In it. Mm -hmm. that, that's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get yep. one of those Epson Eco Tanks. That's what she started out with. That's what she started out with, and then she bought one of the big sublimation printers. But she wanted to first see if she liked it, so she did that first, and then she mm -hmm. invested in the big one. But she's got the big press, and that's how we did these. And, um, but, yeah, so. Uh, uh, th this is one of the, my shirts that I made. Cute. Okay, Chris has a question. How do you do a two together half double? Yarn over, insert your hook, drop a loop. You can do it one of two ways. You can yarn over again, go into the next one, pull up, and then just pull through all of them. Or you can uh, start your half double, so you pull it up, you don't finish it, and then just go straight into the next one, drop a loop, and then go through all of them without doing the uh, yarn over. Did that make any sense to you at all? <laughs> Shirley said she splurged and bought the auto press. But she's got the one that does like that's that's curved. So it'll do the coffee cups. And but yeah, I'm kind of like um, Crystal. My, her cousin does it. So she's choosing to support her. Yeah, that's what I did. And then, uh, like I said, my other friend does the does the resin tumblers. So she did my uh, my big B tumbler. Oh, I'm a red sub. I, I, ha I had a, a I had a a, a press, but uh -huh. it, died, it died on me um, over a year ago. Oh, so I haven't been able to. It, but um, that press, I used it. Um, kid you not, probably over 200 shirts. Oh wow! Because I, I when I used to work at at the school, mm -hmm. I used to make the teachers' shirts. And I used to do um, like like the first grade group made their own special shirts besides the school shirts. Mm -hmm. So I I, I've, I've, I did a lot of t-shirts, maybe well, even more than two hundred. <laughs> well, when I was at Hobby Lobby today, I know another enabler alert, y'all. Okay, so if you like to do the stamps and you want to do like a stamp sublimation, they had the um, refill ink. And they had ink and the stamper. So you could do like just the little bottles of the sublimation ink. Or you could get the stamp pad with the sublimation ink on clearance. It was at the section. So if y'all go to your Hobby Lobbies, it was not on like where you buy all the sublimation stuff. It was at that new clearance section, which my store has moved to the center of the back wall. Hey, Niecy. So that's hey, where... That's where, but so yeah, so they, and they had some, um, they had several different, uh, blanks. They had, um, like the, uh, the license plate frame. And then they had a couple other things that were sublimation blanks. So if y'all like to do sublimation, go check out your Hobby Lobby and check the clearance section for stuff that they may have that you might need. Crystal says she does own a cricket, but she makes things for gifts and decor around the house. See, I had a cricket. Well, my friend found one at Goodwill, and then I never even took it out of the box, and neither did she. And then her niece wanted to to use it, so now her niece has it. Hopefully, her niece is actually using it because neither one of us ever took it out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some vinyl and stuff, but I I don't. My niece has a cricket, and a couple of my friends have crickets, so but I do not. This is not. Yeah, let's, let's see if I can. But I do not. And I'm going to switch my camera again because, guess what? We're going to unveil the pee. There, there. You see my vinyl? Yep. That's my vinyl. Mine's scattered here, there, and everywhere. I am not I am not organized like Miss Nancy, y'all. Not even a little bit. And I, I got this. This is um, HTV. It's a blue, um, blue uh, buffalo check. Ooh. I got it. It's twenty three dollars at Michael's, and I got it for clearance at ten dollars. Nice. So it's it's blue buffalo check. You haven't seen. I haven't used it. 
have I have Red Buffalo check that um that um uh, HTV Ron sent me. But this is this is um adhesive. Oh, they had some of that on clearance today too. The red buffalo check. Oh, okay. Like and they had some of the sheets. Mm. Let's see. Karen said she loves hers. It was the first one that came out. So she does her cards with the railroad signs. And then the, and they re restored them. Oh, that's cool. And let me scroll back up. Shirley said she splurged and bought the auto press. And bought all the Cricut stuff. And let's see. She said the Cricut can cut quilt fabric also, and it's great for lining bags. See, that's, that's what I was wondering. I was thinking about getting one for that. It's the the maker. Yeah. Because the maker, you can get the rotary rotary tool for the maker. All right. Are y'all ready then? I'll uh, take this out. I have I have the um, Explore Air 2. I wanted to get the maker because it, it also cuts um, thin pieces of wood. Mm -hmm. Like basswood and stuff, that that for my miniatures. But um, I don't yeah. know if three hundred dollars is, is is a good investment. <laughs> mm -hmm. I looked at them not long ago. Alrighty, come on out of there. Come come out the little hole. Come on now. Ouch. All right now. Why aren't you coming off of there? <laughs> there we go. Come on. Unstick yourself. Come on. It's from the little hole, isn't it? Because yeah. I have trouble with the from the little hole, too. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm definitely getting one of those molds. Okay. So there it, it is. And other uh, other goodies too. You need to zoom oh, in on that. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna see if I can. Let's do it like that. Okay, where's my little zoom de zoom? And let's see. DC says you could make wood chip boxes in a chip wood box with a stationary set. That would be snazzy. Ooh. Uh, I'm gonna show you something I did with my Cricut. Hold on a second. Let me see if I can. I can reach it without knocking everything else down. This is on the top shelf. So it's got a little tiny air bubble right there, but it came up. It's on the it's on the surface. Where's my little? So it's like right here. So I could probably you can't see it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it right, right there. there. Uh -huh. But I could probably fill that in. I'm getting ready to. Zap it with uh, recure it on this side. Uh huh. And then right here, I just sand, do a little sand, sand it down just a smidge. But that came out cute. I like it. Not too shabby for my first like official project. Well, semi first official. This was my first one. I made that one last night. But my first time, you know, this was just goofing around learning. But this is the first one I actually designed and did. Not yeah, too bad. I like it. So I'm going to put a little bit more resin on top here and then I'll cure it. But I don't want it to go on my pee. So I'll just do it right there in that little dabble of that little hole right there. This but is what I did with my Cricut at a okay. cardboard. Let me switch. I cut this out of cardboard and made the the, the la houses. Everything is, is from the cricket. I painted it and so it's thin cardboard. It, it, it won't it, um the it won't do um chipboard because I don't have the, the deep cut blade. So this is just regular cardboard. And it lights up too. Where is it? See the, the little lights right here? And then this one lights up the rest of it. See all the little lights going across and everything? It 
you can't tell, but th th there's lights inside as well. If you want to see how I built it, there's a video. <laughs> Everybody's saying beautiful, awesome, love it, so nice. I have a, a I have a, a power box for these lights here, but it needs eight batteries to 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 um to power these guys. That's how strong they are. Angel says you two are so brave and creative. I don't know about oh, brave. This, <laughs> I mean, I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to give it a try. There goes with you the, just breaking stuff. This is the snow you were talking about, right, Pam? Yes. Yeah, and that's up just everywhere. Yes. Okay, so I am going to put a little bit more resin on this pea because I'm watching it like cure. And I can see like it's not like shiny. We're going to do a little bit. I'm not going to put it over the pea though. Hopefully not. Anyway. And then I'll use my oh, little. I, I was able to put it back up. <laughs> Because it's on my top shelf. <laughs> Where's I said Q tip? My uh, not Q tip. Whatever this thing is. Toothpick. Toothpick. <laughs> yep. So when I was in uh, high school, I I coached gymnastics, and this movie came out that was called um, Cutting Edge. Yeah, I've seen that one. And you know, in the movie, she says toe pick where she like uses it to stop and stuff mm -hmm. and uh one of the little one of the little you kids can, that i coached me out so they can see what you're doing oh, okay one of the little girls that i coached i saw her at the movies when we went to see that and then mm -hmm. so when we got back to uh when we got back to gymnastics when we got back to class the next week she comes up to me and she's like toothpick <laughs> Oh, uh, it was cute. Everybody else was like, what? I was like, it's a toe pick, but it was still cute the way she said it. That was a cute little movie. I liked it. Yeah. It's about ice skating for those that haven't seen it. And then they came out with a second one. So all I'm doing is I'm going back here and I'm adding a little bit of resin because it was a little, it looked like it had, you know, you could see where it stuck. <coughs> so I'm just putting this on here and then I'm going to fire it up again. Let's see here. I got this, this heart at, um, at Dollar Tree, these glass hearts. Mm hmm And I did that with a vinyl. So now I'm just looking at it with that flashlight. <laughs> I know it's a UV light, but I can see if I missed anywhere. Okay, bit that. Ah. Before I cure the whole thing with my big light. Okay. And is this the way to do it? Probably not. But you know what? Hey, as long as it's working. Yeah. Now I'm filling in that little hole a little bit more right there. Like, okay. Like we said earlier, that there's there's no right or wrong way. I just found my my um my um flakes. Yay! Alrighty, so let me see if I can get yeah, to Miss Nisi are talking. And yep, she they're saying they miss Miss Nisi. I watched a little bit of Miss Nisi today. I was out and about shopping. I was at I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to um Miss Pam well, was taking one for the team. I did, you know, somebody had to do it. I had to go to Hobby Lobby. Um, I had to. And I went to Walmart and in case y'all missed it. So while that's curing, so this is what some of the stuff I bought. I bought some of these little molds. Um, if anybody likes anything that you've seen tonight and you want to get it tonight. Go to Hobby Lobby online because all the jewelry shop stuff is half price. Now, not all of the jewelry. See, like, the, you can get the smaller one. This one's jewelry shop brand, so it's half price. But then this one, nope, not got, that one. I got these on Amazon 
um, a couple years ago. But these just, are not a jewelry shop brand. brand. So you have to I get the jewelry were real. <laughs> I wish right. this, were real, this was real gold flakes. Right? <laughs> but the jewelry shop stuff is half price. So y'all can go if you want to, if you're interested, you can go order it online. Or if you want to wait. Um, it'll be back on sale again at Hobby Lobby in a couple of weeks. You could probably also find a lot of this stuff on um, Amazon, Timu. Probably could go on eBay. Somebody's probably selling some stuff. So y'all go check it out. But if you missed the very beginning, I did pick up some of the new to me. I don't know how new it is. I had not seen it very often. But the Jumbo Speckled Yarn from Red Heart. This one's called Bubblegum. I like the color. It's called bubblegum. So I wanted to give it a try. So I bought two skeins of this because that's all they had left of this color. Um, I think it was like seven bucks ish. Let's see. Oh uh, yeah, seven forty eight. Um, but so I wanted to give it a try and just see how it is. Karen says, Love it, got some. This Ooh, part this cute. part here is, is what I made this with. Oh, okay. I like that. You can and also then, get little the gold one. Is this one? I didn't buy any. They had that at um at Hobby Lobby. Also, like I said, jewelry shop brand. If you go to Hobby Lobby and just type in resin or UV resin, all that stuff will pull up. Chris says that I have begun to buy crafts for my ADHD crash staff group. Crash stash group. It's a gold mine of goodies. Oh yeah, that sounds like a good place to be. And Karen says she loves it. She got some. Yay! I was good. I was looking for the um, the all-in-one granny, but like I like I was saying before, I have two two WalMarts that are relatively close, or about the same distance away. One's a smidge closer, but the one I was beside is the one that was beside Hobby Lobby. They were either sold out or they have not gotten it in yet. But the other one is supposed to have it, but I wasn't at the other one. So if I'm up there one day this week, I might pop in and see if they have any of it in stock left. Because it was low, according to online anyway, you know, where you can like do online, but in store, it had low, low um, inventory. But, you know, they, they may have gotten a truck in since then. So Charlie said hers put it on an end cap. That's where I figured this one would be, but I didn't see any. But it didn't even show it in stock online at that particular location, which kind of surprised me because it's a bigger one. a big They have a bigger craft section, but it's also right beside Hobby Lobby, so they don't get as much as the other one because the other one is the only craft. Okay. That's the only craft store in that area aside from Dollar Tree, and that Dollar Tree over there also has a lot more yarn. So... Yep, but I will have to look. I'll check it out. Ooh, gotta keep curing it. Crystal said one lady was selling snake sheds, and that can be gorgeous in resin. Oh wow! You know what? I have a snake that lives under my front porch, and he well usually, and he'll he'll leave he'll use like the concrete from my from the edge of my porch and he'll leave his snake. He'll leave his skin. He'll leave his shed. But I haven't thought about picking it up and using it for nothing. I'm usually like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be too. He and I have an agreement. He can live there. Just do not come in the house. He came in the house one time. I didn't <sighs> stay in my house for like three days. I remember you talking about that. My brother-in-law <laughs> called and he answered. I was like, there's a snake in my house. What kind of snake is it? Does it matter? It's a snake and it's in the house and it needs to be out of the house. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't think I have large. You know what I'm going to do? Hold on. Ooh, Karen said she bought that yarn to make a bunny. Oh, that would be cute to make a sun bunny out of that yarn. Yeah, because of the pastels. And they had a bunch of different colors. I'm trying to think if I recorded it. I don't think I did because I was watching Nancy at that time. I did turn you off, Nancy, and Dollar Tree long enough to videotape all that stuff. You um, turned me off? I did. I did for, for a minute in Dollar Tree. <gasps> because it was super quiet in Harbor Freight, so I had to turn you off in there because, like, everybody would have heard everything because it was, like, crickets in there. 
they were so quiet and chill and i'm like y'all need to liven up a little bit but i was only in there for like a quick second i know right jen how rude but then i went into dollar tree and i left playing going in dollar tree because it's dollar tree and it was noisy and who cares um but i did turn you off to videotape and then i turned you back on and then i left you on the whole time i was in walmart and that's how I that's how I erased uh, Jill's message because I was getting out of the car and I had my keys and my phone and they started sliding. I was like, oh, and I caught it and then it popped up and it had like the little thing like, are you sure you want to do this? And I'm like, no. And I clicked off of it. And then but apparently I had already done one thing because it's like a uh, message was deleted by Be Creative. And I was like, what did I delete? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> my bad. Whoopsies. Sorry. Well, the, the good thing about that is um, on StreamYard, it doesn't get um, deleted. Yep. Yeah. And, and by the time I saw that I had deleted it, you had or you had just read it. But still, I was like, oh, my gosh. Yeah. Still, yeah. I didn't do it on purpose. It was an accident. My bad. But anyway, yeah. So I don't know if I got that on video because I don't think I did because I think I got distracted by all I the previous get, stuff. I need to get larger jump rings. Because I was gonna to, to, to get through that thickness right here. Because mm -hmm. it's this through here is fine because it's, it's got the it's just a little thing. That's what this uh -huh. one was. But that one's too. But you the, take the actual block is too it's too small, so I have to get bigger jump rings. But do you have um do you have a, a empty key ring? But. So I did do, oh, let me turn you back on. I did not, I just looked, I did not get a video of that, but I did get a picture of the stuff at Hobby Lobby. I think I was already, I was already at Hobby Lobby before your live started. I believe so. I know I sent you a picture. Uh, Let's see, Jen says, Nancy, do you have some wire? Cause you could just make a jump ring. What do you got? Wire or a keychain? A keychain ring. Yep. But but Jim was saying you could you if you had any wire you could make a small jump ring. Like a a, a crap wire. Yeah. But the the wire I have is too is too weak. So if uh, I if, would, if I pulled on it it would open the the ring. Open it back up. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do now? Mm. Actually, that's that's cute. Oh, let me let me see if y'all can see these now better. I'm I'm gonna get a big nope. bigger jump ring because I want to add um. There you go. The lobster class on it, and and it's not letting it move very easily on there. Once I figure out how to do this resin, I want these in something. But I'm thinking about putting them in the cat ears, like That's put one crazy. in each ear. Just for a little blingity bling bling. And there's 50 in there? Mm hmm Is that what it says? Yep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. $1. forty-nine. That don't look like 50 but I okay, I'll go with it. Sure. And Susan said, how is everyone's weather? It is cold and raining there. It rained all last week. Now, last Saturday, no, Sunday, it stopped raining for a bit. And it wasn't too bad. It was chilly. But today was absolutely beautiful. It was sunny and it was warm. It was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, it was nice. Very, very, very nice. Jen says, Nisi, I kept checking your community tab. Hmm. Um, Charlie said, warm there, debating on turning on the AC. It's not quite AC temps today. Although, because it's cooled back down, it's, it's it's down to 68. I got some, I got some of those, I think, or did I? Yeah, you do. I can take this off and embed that into a, a pendant and make it more oh, substantial. Yep. One of the, the larger rectangles. Let's see, Nisi said it was a gorgeous day there and her tulips had bulbs on them and so did her daisies. Oh! It's 64 degrees now here. See, it's warmer here than it is there. It's 68 right now. 
Let's see. Susan said they've had rain for the last three weekends. This is the first. It's just been really pretty. I won't say it's the first sunny weekend, but it's. It just feels like it's rained every day. Like for the eclipse, total clouds. Like completely cloudy day. It was getting ready to pour down rain. Um, but they did like part just long enough for us to see the eclipse, but it was so it was so cloudy you didn't even have to have the glasses because with the glasses, Skittles. I can cut this part off and embed this and put a lot like a rainbow glitter around it. That would be cute. But yeah, so, but you didn't even have to have the glasses on to see the eclipse because it was so cloudy that all the cloud coverage did the same thing as the glasses. Like with the glasses on, if you looked up, it was just pure dark because you couldn't see anything. Um, Karen said they were in the 80s on Thursday and Friday and today rain all day. And Miss Divergent Crafter says, random question. I've been working a lot of hours, and I like to make a big portion of my Christmas presents. Do you think if I bought better quality yarn but smaller items, it would seem as nice or even noticed? Depends on who you're making it for. Um, because a lot of people in my family appreciate the craft. Um, and so a better quality yarn, they would recognize. Whereas other people, because my grandmother crocheted, and as kids, we all got crochet items. So that part of the family, um, a lot of them would be like, ugh, more crochet. So I think it would, yeah, like Shirley said, depend on the gifties. But like I have lots of family members that craft. And so like if I made them something with a high quality yarn, they would super appreciate it because they would know the yarn. So like if I, like if I made... Like my cousin, Brandy, Carrie's mom, Carrie that was here earlier. If I made her something out of, out of say, like Noro, she could appreciate because she would know how much that yarn cost. And she would appreciate getting that type of gift. So. But yeah. Shirley said it would depend on your gifties. Yep, exactly. Yep, yep, yep. I haven't seen this in a while. I, have, I need to wear this guy one day. I keep this forgetting to turn my light back on. Oh, yeah. Your minion thingy bracelet. Mm -hmm. Paracord, right? Yep. Oh, um, Hobby Lobby had um, bracelet type things with the opening for the Ruby Resin, too. Like the bangles. And you could do like... But I didn't want to get too much of that stuff. Because I wanted to first see if I liked it. Which, I mean, yeah. I, I know from doing it last night that I liked it. But I wanted to see if I would be able to get the hang of it. And get rid of all the little air bubbles and all that kind of fun stuff. And and I'm thinking that I, I think that I will be able to. I like it. Is it is that the, uh, which one's that one? Is that the fruit basket? The fruit basket. That one turned out really cute. Really, really cute. Um, Crystal says, I was thinking everyone would get a hat and scarf set, but with a super soft yarn. Yes. And y'all know what? Okay, so what I'm using to make my niece's blanket with is Red Heart Soft that I picked up at um, Ollie's for, like, really good price. Um, and then for for the colors that my niece picked out. And then her fiancé, he said he liked green. So I, I had some um, Lion Brand basic what is it called? Basic Stitch Anti-Peeling. And they have, I mean, they look like the exact same yarn, just with a different label. The But the Lion brand has less yardage than the Red Heart. So I was looking for some more green that I can mix in with it, because I only had four of those. Oh, good night, Angela. Have a good, good night, night, Angela. Thanks for coming and hanging out. Um, so... I have some Hobby Lobby, but it doesn't have that sheen on it. But that's, if you can find Red Heart Soft or Lion Brand Basic Anti-Peeling, both of those are so, so soft. And if you go to Yarnspirations, the uh, Red Heart Soft is on sale. And they had a coupon code. For I alert. Yeah, 30, <laughs> I think it's 30% off. It's either 20 or 30% off. Of your already on sale price stuff. 
I'm gonna wear, wear my fruit basket in a second. I think Hold it was on. yarn inspirations. Let me let me double check. Pretty sure it was yarn inspiration. So let me look. I added the jump ring to my yarn basket. I mean, uh, fruit basket, and I'm gonna Ooh. put it on this. I like I like these um silicone cords because I don't have to worry about the clasp in the back. Okay, so it wasn't it wasn't your inspirations that had the sale. Who must have been Lion Brand then? Because well, I mean they are on sale, but it's buy three get buy three get fifteen percent off. So it was on sale, but it must have been. Let me see. If it was Lion Brand. I don't there's know, y'all. I looked at I looked up several. <laughs> there's there's my my basket. <laughs> Um, yeah, okay, yes, it's Lion Brand. So the Lion Brand Basic Stitch is on sale for $5.39 a scheme. But you can also get an additional 20% off with the code April Extra 20. It ends in 35 hours. Now, there are some exclusions, but the uh, Basic Stitch Anti Peeling is on um, sale. My the only reason I didn't order it from them today is because I don't know when it would be here. So, like, if anybody has ever ordered straight from Lion Brand recently and you know how long it would take to get it, because I need this blanket to be done by next weekend, so I don't want it to get here, say, Saturday morning because that will be too late. And most of them, like Hershner's, I could get it, but it wouldn't be here till the 16th. Walmart had some, and it was coming from Hershner's on the Walmart website. But they were all showing them getting here. Not the 16th, the um, like the 22nd. So that would be, yeah. Crystal said, Premier Anti Pilling is also lovely and has a sheen. Yes. And I looked at Premier, I looked there too. But see, like, that's the only thing is like, I couldn't, um, it wouldn't tell me when it would be here. So, like, if I knew I could order it and have it here, like, in a couple of days, I would get it. I did find some on Amazon that wasn't too, too pricey considering but yeah karen said she used to use red heart soft until it was too hard to find it years ago yeah and they did i don't know if they like clearance it out or just some of the stores got rid of it but i know that's how ollie's got it but i did find it at uh yarn inspirations today niecy's going down to the craft room to see if she can figure out this swifter man i hope i don't make another tangled mess you know, cross your fingers and your toes. Oh, uh, so you got the swift thingy to ball up your, to, to, to cake up your hanks. Nice. But, so yeah, because I think that the, the, the Premier Anti-Peeling, I think would like match these others. Because I was looking for a certain like green. But I've got some Red Heart Unforgettable up there that I'm going to, okay, so her colors that she picked, I asked them for their favorite colors. She said she likes burgundy, maroon, purples. And she told me just pick whichever. And then he just said green. But I've got one up there. It's got it's got a little bit of blue in it too. But I'm but it's the um uh, unforgettable. And it's got all of them mixed together. Right. So I'm thinking I've got four of them. So I can mix those in. So then it would be like her colors, his colors, and then their colors mixed together. So that's what I'm going to try out tomorrow because it's got the sheen on it too. And what I bought from Hobby Lobby doesn't. So, yeah. But I have tons of the Red Heart Soft. I've got it in a berry. I've got it in wine. And I've got it in grape. So I've got it in the dark purple, the burgundy, and then it's like a pinky color. The berry is more pinky than, than burgundy, but Oof. so, okay. So here's what my little, here's what my little thingy turned out looking like. I love it. So you can really see the pinky and the purple and the blue. I think Very it turned pretty. out really cute. Here, let me turn my camera and show y'all that way. Here, here I, I put my um fruit basket on, on a jump ring and on a necklace now. Cute. Shirley's going to eat now. I have been on YouTube all day. Well, enjoy your meal. So that's what it looks like. I love it. So that's the front. And that's what the back looks like. So the back is just, you know, plain. It looks like I miss a little there. Kind of dipped down just a little. There you go. You can see it. But I mean. I wonder... Um. If you get the right glue, 
if you can do like a like a another letter and glue it back to back probably well now i was looking it said you can use um like if i made just the p and pop it out um uh -huh. that wouldn't work it would have to be flat because the flat side would be well it might it might work because that's the flat side you can try it yeah because that would be the flat side and then i could lay it there and then i could put it down on top but one of the things that i was just reading said you can use uncured resin so i wouldn't even have to use that you know i could just put a little bit of resin and then put it on there and then cure it okay but well I'd have to I'd have to do it around it because because you you don't want well, the well yeah because it cured this resin it cured the colored resin so it should yeah it should y'all have a great rest of your weekend evening says Shirley Bain thank you Shirley y'all we're getting ready to hop out of here anyway we're getting ready to so if y'all know of anybody that is um that is currently live y'all let me know we can do a do a raid over there um for anybody that missed it the stitch for may is going to be the iris stitch i can't remember exactly what that stitch entails because i don't know all the names of all my stitches i know the stitches i just didn't know the names of them so i had to google and start it so or to, to get all the names so i will find my little cheat sheet <laughs> Where I wrote all my little stitches down that I was going to be doing. According, according to, to my subscriptions, Be Creative Craft is on. Oh, really? I hear mm -hmm. she's pretty cool. She's kind of fun. Uh, what if I could? Oh, okay. Kelly's, Kelly's Crochet Adventure. If you like watching eagles, the South Florida um, Eagle, uh, Southwest Florida Eagle Cam is also live. You can see oh. the, the eagle, eagles. Let me see here. Um, that's all. That's all from my subscriptions. I'm sure there's more people. Let me go look at mine here. Yep, I got the same ones you do. And yeah, well, except for the eagles, I do like watching eagles though. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. So if y'all want to head over to any of those that Nancy just uh, Miss Susan, what do I need to write to drop my uh, to drop your link tonight? Is be kind. B e e K-I-N-D, all one word. Yep, add an extra E. B-E-E. -E. You know I got to make it difficult. That's not difficult. That's just, that's, it's, it's, it's you. It's me. It's me. Let me turn my camera back around. I'm, I'm looking to see if anybody else is live. Yeah, those are the only ones I see. ABC oh. News. ABC News. <laughs> right. So if y'all like to watch woodworking and stuff, y'all can head over to Mr. To what if I could John C because he's got some uh woody woodworking stuff going on. I, I, have, I have a new person. He uh he is um turning diamond painting pens. Ooh. Leopard Leatherworks. Leopard Leatherworks. Cool. He's, he's turning diamond painting pens. Or if anybody in the chat wants to go live, if y'all want to go live, let us know and we'll come over to your place. And I'm going to attempt to play the lurker video again. For anybody that was lurking, I appreciate you. If you are catching the replay, thank you so very much. I appreciate you as well. And for everybody that's been here chatting, thank y'all so much. So let me do the lurker video right quick. If it kicks me out, I'll be right back. And this here is the stitch for April. So y'all can hang, come hang out with us on a Thursday. Thursday nights, we've been doing the shell stitch. Every Thursday night at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. And last week, not last week, a couple nights ago, we learned how to do three colors, kind of like what you see in the background of that video. I gave, I gave my little mug rug to Earl. Aww. 
So I don't have a nearby. But there is Miss Susan's for what? For the oh, for the for the shell. What did I do with mine? Um, it's somewhere. What did I do with it? No. Well, this one's not the tri-colored one. It was right here. So that's just regular shell. But it's the, um, just working the shell up, you know, which, I mean, it's pretty. But it looks so much better in a multicolor, I think. I, I could grab mine real quick. I won't say it looks, I won't say it looks so much better. But you can really see the definition of all the shells. What did I do with it? It was right here. There's no telling. I threw stuff in drawers. That's what happens when I, like, get in a hurry. Susan said it's not. It did. It's working. It's right here, Susan. He dropped it. Oh, I found it. It's right there, Miss Susan. He worked. It's it's but it's uh underneath the bee kind and before Adele. There we go. I found it, Nancy. I found mine too. Uh, but I showed y'all, you just carry the yarn up the side and you can go in and hide it with a row of single crochet or something like Nancy did. Or, I mean, more than likely, I'm just going to leave this one probably. But, ooh, Crystal said, so, so, S-E-W, yeah, is live if you want to buy fabric. Ooh, nice. Hey, Gwen. Hey, Mama Gwen. We're getting ready to head out, but we are just giving all the different people that are currently live if you want to go check them out. What is not out? working? It is working. I was going to say, um, she just didn't see it. She, oh, just okay. didn't see it. she sees it now. Gotcha. Uh, and Miss Adele says, good night, all. See y'all around. Okay, so Lori said, is the stitch of the month in a playlist? I was trying to do that on my own, and I have gotten way off count, and it's a wonky mess. Yes, I do have a I do have a uh, playlist. Um, let me go over here. YouTube. Dee, dee, dee. It's also I, in I my. I will be making a, myself a headband with this these colorways. Do, 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 do. I'm I'm, I'm in, enjoying all these stitches and, and making um new headbands. Whoopsies, this is not, oh, hold on, I got to open up the playlist. Open, and then tell it to shush. Uh, make sure I got it in there. Yep, crochet shell stitch. And all, I, I hope I put all the lives in there. Um, Angel, Angel says she was in Hobby Lobby sinkhole. <laughs> it happens. It's not letting me... Why is it oh, not let me? So my, my, my little unicorn, my my little catacorn. Okay, hold on. It didn't give me. Hold on. I'll just drop. It's not giving me the playlist, but the playlist is not letting me share, share my playlist. I can do this so much faster from my phone. <laughs> it's called the 2024 Stitch Along. But are you want? If you're just wanting the um, shell stitch, hold I know. On. Shush, shush, shush. I'm talking to my I'm talking to myself on my my thingy. Okay, here we go. Okay. I got you. Hold on. You Oops, got it. Shell. Yep. I got the stitch along one. Okay, so there is the shell tutorial. That's just for the tutorial, but I do have a playlist. Um, uh, and Crystal said, Iris, Iris Stitch. Are you trying to represent Tennessee? <laughs> just kidding. I'm 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 getting the playlist now. Thank you. Yeah, because like when I went to the it didn't open up. I bet I know what I did. I know what I did. I hit the wrong. I didn't hit the one at the top, I hit the one on the share at the on the video. Maybe playlist. that was what it did. I don't know. Playlist. How, how to speak playlist. <laughs> it says, Thank you, ladies. Enjoy your night. Later, Gators. Yeah. There you go. Stitch of the Month playlist. Yep. It is called the 2024 Stitch Along, I think is what I named it. What did I name it? Yep, 2024 Stitch Along. But it's on my, it's, 
it's on my channel and all the things but it should be towards the bottom but i've got the um the in the crochet shell week stitch crochet <laughs> shell stitch week two that's where we did three colors and i need to go back and rename that just so that when you look at it you can see exactly what yeah i wanted to redo my project following your stitches so i can try to learn how multiples work i want to make a scarf got you okay so the multiple one that video i'm editing up this weekend but the live from thursday night is is where we started doing the i show you how i carry it up the side and stuff but that's how it, that's where it is. All right, y'all. Thanks y'all so much for coming and hanging out with us and uh, doing a little bit of UV resin. I think it turned out really cute. My one project to Nancy's like 800. I did three. <laughs> just kidding. I just, you know, I just got to get the hang of it. And I may not have had to cure it like 800 times, but, you know, I wanted to make sure it wasn't sticky anymore. So, but anyway, all right, y'all have a fantastic weekend and we will see y'all around the YT streets. I just got to find all my little things here. All right. Remember, be creative. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye. Bye.